How's it going everybody welcome back to another stream hope everybody is having a wonderful beautiful day today is the day where we finally get to test the time running pandemonium thing uh hi uh, i'm here really really early it's gonna take me a really a second to adjust I haven't eaten anything and i'm gonna be here for at least two hours recording while streaming all of this and then i'll probably go make a video and then we'll get duels out of the way for the day uh yeah is that over how you doing boys so duels by the way if anybody pops into the chat if anybody wants to be that that guy are you that guy are you him we are still doing duels today or at least still plan on duels doing duels today i just want to do the stream very very quickly check out what's happening while getting footage and then go uh render stuff out while hopefully getting something to eat and then come back and still do our five five one one duels for the eu region boys oh my goodness where the hell do i find this thing is it on p it's on ptr so i assume it's gonna be like um how do you enter it right that's the question i guess that is the main question that everybody is wondering let me get the music back up and running here boyos uh also i got music in game rolling already apparently yeah let me let me let me let me let me correct that uh do 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 i do like the music of um uh dragon fight though i mean it's been pretty pretty awesome honestly make it a little louder so uh i guess the question is how do we access this you know do we need to just have a level 10 character array to go or do we make one like you know like there's a plunderstorm button over here right do we just make one through plunderstorm button from the looks of it creating characters should be just have a time running option but i haven't gotten any specifics okay do you think one of the rewards for mp remix is a recolor challenge mode sets no um so they said they're gonna be adding some of the stuff that has been removed from the game the original rewards from Mr. Pandaria are not going to be there. This does create a little bit of a, what I would call a gray area, right? Put it in a box real quick. It's a gray box. Because technically, the original color schemes of Mr. Pandaria rewards. Those are OG. Those cannot be added. However, however, a recolor could work because they kind of added a recolor version of these already back in legion you know so i think a new version of it right you know how bear druid model the were bear for mage tower was the original but then they made the fell bear 
where it's like it's the same skeleton but it's different because it's not exactly like the same ones i think they're creating themselves a little bit of space to add it i just don't think they want to really reveal it uh, maybe until today or until it releases i think they've created themselves enough of a gr space there to add a recolor right to earn like add, just add a recolor variation of these sets i think there's enough there that being said i don't know they've been pretty pretty like they've been pretty specific about we don't want to invalidate the time spent back in pandarium or because a lot of okay there's a lot of people that of course will go and say but there's people that bought or paid for a carry for these things right i mean mage tower when you look at that when you look at the wad weapons when you look at the mop uh, armors but there is like always a number of players and there's usually like a significant number of players that actually had to try for it right they actually had to struggle in order to get it maybe they never pve before and they got the guild group together they don't pve ever and they toughed out through it right so there is going to be a number a significant enough number of players that actually had to struggle for these things and just because joe Schmo over there paid for it doesn't validate the progress of people that tried for it right so they're very 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 specific of like hey there's people out there that actually tried that went out of the way that maybe did something they normally don't do to be able to get it i get it it's like you really really want those pixels you really want it i uh, trust me i'd love to get them too but they're just trying to make sure they don't validate like the difficulty that people had getting them initially and i can kind of sort of feel it from either perspective just because i got like the mage tower um weapons or like some of the uh mogs that have been removed from like wow the very first season pride prideful primal set the primal elite set it's not in the game anymore and i got everything but the helm because they didn't like the helm but it's a really cool set it's got these shoulders that have these kunais that shoot out i think they i think they made gave themselves enough of a spacing there to add them as a recolor i think there's enough of a gray area where they could you know because they can still have the originals and if you see a paladin one with the original you'll be like that color is not in the game you'll still recognize it right but they need to be like the recolors don't need to be as the recolors cannot be as cool as the originals right there are some cool there are some recolor variations that actually look cooler than the originals like the red paladin that looks cool i think it's saying that we'll do that silver yellow paladin which isn't as cool but still you get this the actual like models blunderstorm is up blunderstorm still should be up yeah on live servers blunderstorm is still active for now come on shut up cosmetic elitism stop cosmetic elitism Okay, I feel like the cosmetic elitism, people don't really know it unless they've, like, got the item. I think most people don't actually experience it. <laughs> I got all CM sets of weapons, I'm down for recolors to come out. Yeah, same. I didn't mean to share myself, I don't want to feel invalidated people come get them now. I feel like a lot of the times, like, <laughs> a lot of the times on Twitter I saw people saying and writing a post, Yeah, dude, I did CM, I did the, uh, uh, wad weapons, I did the mage shower stuff. And then somebody pressed the guy on it. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Because they were trying to get their info. They got one of their characters and they were able to go and find all the stuff linked to their account. They were like, nope, you didn't get it. You're just out here on Twitter saying you got all these things, but you didn't. And that does make me wonder, like, how many people out there are saying, like, I got all of these things and I would have no problem with it, but it's just them LARPing. Like, I'm not saying just your case, but it's just like, it was funny it happened. <laughs> I just saw like the thread in real time with the guy deleting it after because I came back to it. <laughs> it was hilarious, man. I don't know. It just makes me wonder like how many people are actually like, feel that way or how many people are LARPing. And I'm not, again, questioning you. But yeah, I don't know. I think what's cool about WoW and WoW's pixels, like, why are they so cool? Why was the Feldrake cool, right? When that was a thing. The, the old school model of a drake with like a little felt sigil or whatever. Why was that such a cool item that made people's heads turn? Because it was just, there was not a lot of them in the game. So when you saw one, you like recognized it. But then they did the whole like Twitch promotion thing where it's like, it became from like, whoa, a head turn amount to like, no, everybody has one. <laughs> Nobody cares. You see a felt drake, you're like, oh, that thing, cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it. I guess like i guess it depends how it, it, it really honestly it depends who you ask right i feel like there's so many different opinions kind of trying to blend themselves together but now you have this item that was like oh cool to like oh that thing <laughs> you know so it's like it invalidates those pixels specifically they just you know i don't know <laughs>
It kind of sucks because it's like it used to be a cool mount, but it isn't cool anymore. <laughs> and I'm wondering like if that would like same thing would happen like if they, let's say they were to re-release the same mage tower weapons back in the game, right? Exactly as they were, or like just put a vendor in like Orgamar and Stormwind and let you buy them. Who cares, right? At that point, like at that point, might as well, <laughs> you know? Let's just 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 throw that idea out. Just add a vendor. You walk up, you buy them for like two copper. That's it. Is it gonna be like, wow, I got these two weapons? I feel like after like a week or two, people would like stop caring and it'll be like, oh, those things, yeah, anybody can get them. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like they're not special anymore. <laughs> it would just be like, it's like breathing air. It's just, it's not special anymore. I don't know. And I feel like that's a little, like it makes me personally a little bit sad. It's like, oh man, that thing used to be cool. But I'm also not like super, oh, there it is. Attached to it. Oh my god, there it is, boys. We were there. We experienced Mr. Pandaria, uh, experience the wild, new tools from Mr. Pandaria, questing raids, new items, blah, blah, blah. Rewards! Okay, we're making it. Horde. Jake, we're making a horde character, okay? Making a horde character. And looks like you can make your own class. So I'm gonna make a Nightborn Outlaw Rogue, I guess. I kinda like the other one. Crap. Um. Uh, I don't know, uh, please give me something good looking. Horde Evoker, okay. I feel like, what if I should make a different character, not a rogue? I'll do rogue. I just wanted like a... I shouldn't be doing this for too long, should I? Oh crap, I actually like that one. Uh... I'm, I'm, this is taking forever. <laughs> I should just, uh, honestly, just created specifically. Let's do this. Bam. Beautiful. Can I change the face a little? Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, MOP. Dalaran Mob. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's even marked as a Time Runner character. Oh, that's cool. Hold on a second. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I see, uh, I see seeing a rare person as a nerd spotted with a lot of free time. I mean, if that's how you want to look at it, but still, you rec recognize them, right? You still do notice them. <laughs> you still do acknowledge them. What is this? Holy! Okay, well, we gotta figure this out really quickly. Um, no, I think I need, um, is it this one? AA1. Okay, if I do AA1, I do want to make it so that, uh, Action bar are shown, right? I can actually see stuff. And this action bar, I want to make sure it's not all hidden. It's always visible. Cool. Nice. All right. Oh, also, yeah, turn this thing too. I gotta drag it like over here or somewhere. Cool. Is this uh blown up for me? It is. Okay. No wonder it looks so weird. All right. Uh, Jake, where are you? Cause I'm in. Oh, uh, crap. Oh, I'll just do this then. Okay, that works too. Gotta do dungeonology it up. Are we gonna have to? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this, Jake. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make group for scenarios, start a group, Dal. And I'm just gonna call it Dal for Theramar's Fall, okay? Add me. And uh, we'll group up like that. Holy dude, there we are, man. There we are, boys. And I can change my specs too. So you can play your class and like you can do all of these things. Crazy. That you? Time Skippy? Are you Time Skippy? Are you Time Skippy? Is that you? Hold on. I just want to double check. I just want to make sure. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's me. I like the day you need. I like the day you Time Skippy. You, we're at a level four. Oh, lordy. Look at this. We got gems. Gear. With intellect, apparently. Okay. Well, here we are. Man. We're working as if for the dragon flights. Are we actually? Yeah, we are. Hold on, we are. Bronze vendors. Oh, they are bronze dragon flights now. Yeah, look at them. We're with the infinite dragon flights here. I guess that makes sense because they're now part of the uh, horde or alliance or whatever now. They are, but you know, there's there it is. This is cool. Good afternoon, my dude. What's up, Steam? How do you my man? Uh, I recognize from perspective he got it, uh, got more time than me. Like I'm not gonna spend time in the current expect to get them. I mean, a lot of them is not even like time spent. Like a lot of them are challenges where it's like difficulty, and maybe they put in the time to like get. A, I... 
What the hell? Moradi? Is that another time time walking dragon or uh, uh infinite dragon? This is okay, hold on. This is a lot going on at once, by the way. Um, I don't know. Cause some of these challenges were pretty tough, like at least when they came out, right? Like the mage tower or whatever. And like I don't I don't know, it's I think the the time investment, the limited cap, uh, vi uh, availability of these things, but also the difficulty of the content together is what really adds like the cool part of these pixels that are in game. I don't know. I I just all I can say is I kind of always enjoyed the uniqueness of pixels. That's about it. You know what I mean? I always thought it was cool how some pixels are really really special. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's about all. <laughs> That's about all I got. <laughs> I'd always value that in a way. Like, that was neat you know i just i guess the question is like if we were just to remove it is it just gonna be lame because i don't i just feel like maybe people are not gonna care as much wait i have all my mounts and everything can we dragon ride them okay well i got him a mount for drag you know what let's do this guy hell yeah all righty all righty I want to focus on this, by the way. What are talents like? So you basically get like normal talents. You basically play your classes in this mode. Nothing really changes. You get to re-level your character, and you'll be able to play all of your class abilities just with an extra twist, basically. Uh, not about time ways. Yeah. Oh my god, Miss Padaria, dang, is full. It is full, isn't it? Huh? Okay. There's a bronze vendor here where you could buy it. Wait, I guess you could come back here at some point, right? There's a Salem Battle Banner. Which looks like it's a toy, Blend of Shadows, Sky Mirror, so you can get those for bronze. You can get a bunch of toys, the Mogo, Haze Blazer, the Mouse, so this is the guys have some of the vendor stuff here. Okay. So this is where we get all the bronze, everything has time. This guy, item upgrade, so you can go upgrade your items here. So this is the first quest. It's about time. Um, why is the infant dragon fight here? I was gonna show this. Okay, I'm just gonna mouse over it, right? And I'm also just gonna do it for, uh... What is it? For, like, the YouTube side of things? Okay, Jake, I think I'm ready. There's a lot going on, but I think I am ready. Wait. Uh, I gotta do list my group. Yeah, list, yeah. Can we queue for scenarios now? We can't yet, no. Um, name. I need the hell bars to be a little bit bigger. Name, uh, larger name plates. Okay. And you're already running? Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lots of new mounts? Yeah, lots of new mounts, lots of new cosmetics as well. There's gonna be a lot to take a look at at once. And it's gonna be a little overwhelming, chat. Just a little bit overwhelming, but we'll just, we'll just take it as it goes. Oh, I gotta pull a guy out. Okay. Kill an officer. I got an empty spool of temporal threads. So this is going to be like the uh, intro quest, I guess. And I can swap out one of my weapons with a... With a sword? It looks like a mace, but I'll take it. It looks like a mace. But sure. <laughs> Speak with Moriarty and you can get some bronze instantly. So this basically teaches you like, hey, there's bronze. Hey, you're going to be earning a bunch of these items. Collect threads. Not my problem. Okay, so there's a bunch of quests you do. Like a bunch of like introductory quests. I guess show you what the hell you're gonna be doing out here. Okay. Interesting. Camera's closed. Do 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 do. Evokers are level 10 so funny. Yeah. That is gonna be a normal thing for um what is it? War within. I just gonna be a baseline thing. I wish I had a pistol shot, man. I can't walk out. I can't grapple or anything yet. Oh, no. Playing out on low levels is going to be weird, man. <laughs> Tell you right now. Everybody getting tags. I can barely get any. <laughs> makes sense with the infinite dragon fight. Yeah, it's, it's, if you don't like the bronze dragon fight storyline. Yeah, it makes it actually makes sense why they're all here. Okay, I need to go to some tags. Never mind. I'm full. Oh, my. I completed it apparently. I'm going to guess Jake did it for me. <laughs> And I'm just getting tags. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is also it's interesting how they're doing this in the uh, Thomas Isle. Makes sense, though, because it has always been like a time warp bronze ish area, whatever. So I guess that makes sense on that front. Hold on. Let me get a flight path real quick. Because <laughs> these guys actually. Hold on. Jake, come over here and get a flight path. Don't forget to do that, okay? At some point. Because we can come back here. We can actually fly back here, and this will be like a viable like leveling zone or something. 
or Endgame Zone maybe, because that's how it was back in MOP. Thomas, I also awesome to do the, uh, the gear chest back in the yeah, dude, the gear chest. Oh, it's gonna be so nice running around getting gear from Timeless. Can, why can I see the hell bars, by the way? Um, oh, we should name plates. Cool. I just feel like I'm blind walking around with a big old bars above their heads. All right. Um, I'm gonna go turn in my quest real quick. I'm gonna assume Jake is maybe ahead of me. So we got a little bit of bronze already, and we're about to get our legendary cloak. Who would I talk to for it? This guy? Arius? Oh, this guy? Project Collection? Chrono Badge? Tick seems to synchronize with a heartbeat. What does Horus find this? Neat. And I guess it's like, hey, look at all these things out here. You're gonna need them. And ask Momentus to forge the cloak. Of course we'll be running around with a cloak in Pandaria. You know what I mean? Of course we'll be running around with a cloak in Mr. Pandaria. What should have I, what, what, what else could I have expected, man? Of course we have a cloak. Of course we do. If you play Pandaria or BFA and Rathian comes around, he always has a cloak for you as a legendary. Twice have done this. Once as a joke, but the first time it was just like part of the main gameplay. Cloak and magic properties, cloak and potential equip. Gives me a time runner's advantage buff. Granted me a bunch of stats, but they're not in yet right now. But I guess this, as you upgrade the cloak, you'll be able to get a bunch of uh, updates for it. Okay, cool. PTR, it is only on PTR, yeah. This thing is not live yet. It's uh, going live with, C with patch 10 to 7. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. I appreciate it. Apparently, Jake has completed all these quests for me, man. You know what? This was a good idea for us to do this together, Jake. I am glad. I'm almost leveled up, by the way, just from doing this intro. I guess I'm going to leave the island at level 11 by then. Right? Okay, so now we got to go kill a big guy. I swear to God, dude, I need, to, I need some movement. I need to be mounting up more often. But yeah, this is just for PTR. Look at these Reavers, man. Oh, the old models. Oh, they actually look so cool. I actually like it a lot. Wait, do I kill this thing? Errata is the unproven paradox. Absorbing nearby health. Hold on. Maybe I just wait. I also need stealth on my bar sometime. Yeah, the amount of damage I'm doing is just... Do I just do I kill him? No, you just get him low. Okay. That's the only part of the quest. He's just got to get low. And you got to reset him up. And then he gets back low. Goodbye. Okay. Now we can do stealth, I guess. Uh, What events led to the Horde in Pandaria? Oh. You can get a bit of like a uh, preview. Okay. All right. This is interesting. We're calling the war. Now we can do group finder stuff. Wait, can we queue for scenarios now? Hold on. Can you queue for scenarios yet, Jake? Okay, I'll wait until you left the island, then I'll queue us for a scenario. Scenarios was a thing that was basically like a dungeon light experience. Oh, look at that. You can do random Pandaria dungeons. Time running dungeons in Pandaria. Or heroic. We can't do heroic yet, though. Or not even normal. Roll dungeon. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can do heroic. That'd be hilarious. Or we could do normal, random, heroic, time running. There's no advantage, it looks like. It just makes it harder, I guess. I guess we should do a baseline, right? A basic one? Basic version? I'm gonna queue one up. Just to see what happens. Alright, and from here, just Pandaria leveling. Scenarios completely break your PTR. Do they not work? Okay. If scenarios are break, then um, we'll do a random dungeon. We'll queue up for that, right? We'll just we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see it for ourselves. Monkey dungeon, hundred percent. Yeah. Is that just how what everybody's getting? Is is the uh, Hosen one? What do you mean by break? Like, are they just not completable, or or is it something else? Like, can you actually do them, or are they just, like, overtuned? Because that would be cool. I'm in cinematic. Wait, what? PTR frozen on cinematic. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Are we queued for anything? We are queued for, yeah, Pandaria scenario and dungeon. Let's see if that works out at all. Are you queued as a healer, by the way, or just as DPS? Also, killing 80 of these guys is going to take forever with everybody doing them all at once. 
Holy. They're just gonna like camp a spot where they res maybe? And just keep blasting that direction maybe? I don't I don't even know man. I'm just shooting in another direction. I'm trying to hope that maybe a random alliance like dude spawns randomly. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> this is gonna take a second. <laughs> You kind of just got to hit them as they spawn, and there's only so much you can do with that. I'm just kind of trying to... Okay. All right. Oh, there it is. I don't remember how to do any of these. Okay, so I guess we pick up a keg or tell let's get the sliding party started. Do we grab kegs? Oh, I don't think we actually have to do any. I don't think we actually have to get hit. I think we just have to like watch out for bruise and avoid these and uh, put out bruise whenever they're on fire. Okay, all of us just got hit instantly, dude. <laughs> so yeah, this is scenarios. They basically got a little bit of like these PVE challenges that don't necessarily require a tank or a healer. Uh oh. Hey, how's it going? I don't even know if I'll be able to do anything here, honestly. I'm gonna try my best, but I can't even cleave or anything yet. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do PV objectives. Hold on, we gotta have a level. Oh, oh, this is this is gonna be quick then, huh? Oh, we got abilities. Extract the gem. Time running ability unlocked. You can drag in the action bar. Unraveling sands. Okay, so I got two new abilities. This is new. This is interesting. I have never seen this before, but I guess th that makes sense because it's all new, right? Scenario dope. Yeah, hey, dude. Hell yeah. What can I get level wise? I can't even get anything, man. I, just, I can't even get my Sinister Strike pistol shot combo. I feel like I'm missing abilities on my bars, too. Uh, I am actually blind. Blind is huge. Blind is a big button. Stealth is a big button. Ambush is also another big button. Definitely worth putting on my bars. Stun. Uh, sap. Okay. Well, it's going to take me a second to get my ability set up again on my stealth bar. But I want to have all of them, like. Eviscerate, because I'll be diving into stealth for what's it's the rest of my stuff, the rest of my combat um, rotational abilities with a uh, crack shot and all that. Okay, so these gem extraction, extract gem. So I guess I got to get an item that you can extract the gem from, or maybe extract gem from a socketed item. Okay, so you could whatever gems you put in the gear, you can extract them back, and they give you a button for it. Unravel and sand. Summon unravel and sand that transform unwanted items into bronze. Oh, so any items you don't want to wear, you could just turn them into bronze. And these guys drop bronze. Okay. Hold on. Interesting. I don't hate this. Are we ready? Blanche? Okay, let's roll. Probably thinking uh, we can get challenge gear, huh? I will see, man. We'll see. Yeah, we haven't seen all the vendors. There's a bazaar vendor we haven't taken a look at, but you gotta first get to Pandaria and get to some of the main village areas in order to even uh, interact with a bazaar vendor. So it's gonna take a second. It's gonna take a bit. Once we get to the bazaar vendor, we'll take a look at everything they got, but for now, it's just leveling, trying to get out of the intro area as soon as possible. That's about all we can do. <laughs> So we'll just do a scenario just while we're here anyway, right? You are earning bronze while you're doing this though. And this looks like it costs a couple of thousand bronze to be able to get gear or cause other cosmetics. So I wonder how expensive things are going to be in terms of like its bronze prices in general. Fire breath hit for 700 by the way. Like, wait, hold on. That's a lot. I don't think evoke damage is scaled well then, huh? Also, I don't have my uh, add-ons for like damage. Uh, what buttons? I get details on so you guys can really see damage. What it looks? What's it looking like? Oh, it's all gonna be bugged, huh? That's fine. We're we going this way. I thought we we're going that way. No mind. Okay, we we'll got details working. Sorta. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's buggy though. I wish I had shadow step, man. Give me some mobility buttons. Oh my god. The early rogue experience of just sprint is abysmal, man. I keep it out there now. <laughs> I forgot some of the dialogues, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, you can just go awesome. Yeah, we'll see what they have on the vendors. I'm sure, like, once we get a little bit, like, 
further in, we'll we'll be able to get a better idea of what we're working with. I almost want to try to see if I can convert all my other items. Wait, increase the attack power of all party members. Oh, we got scrolls. Hold on, it gave us into like brilliance. Look at that. We got buffs. I just got it from like killing guys or maybe quests or whatever. I'm not even sure. But yeah, that's cool. All right, can we go? All right, now we're going. Now we're going. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I forgot how long these take, man. Do we mount here? Okay, you can. I don't remember what the boss of this scenario does. I think it's a big old Saurus dude. Maybe with a lot of dodging mechanics. I don't really remember them. Although these scenarios, you don't need a tank or like a healer to complete them. Like you get like enough buffs and bonuses plus one speed. Is that for the cloak? You get stats for the cloak. Hold on. You get stats with the cloak. Stuns the target Sorek, medium for 10 seconds Sorek, already affected by a boomer strike. Oh god, boomer. Okay, boomer. Can I hit him with it? Or does it have to be these guys? The stun by it. Okay, so the, these things are giving us like a stun so we can do act control. Cool, that guy's gotta get hit. That, okay. That, that happened two, in two seconds. Scrap of bronze. I mean, we got... A level out of it so that's pretty good and it took like two seconds of to do all right uh put points in shadow step god please give me shadow step pistol shot we got that beautiful faint we can now faint stuff uh cash of treasure oh okay hold on a second chat hold on we got a tinker slot we got a gem. Hold on. Combine three gems to create a powerful gem. Can't use that yet. Your abilities have a chance to grant you a fiery shield absorbing damage while shield persists. And then contains a small amount of bronze. Uh, that's not... Small is 200. Okay. Bloodlust. Okay, so we got a gem. Let's just go here. Abilities have a chance to create a fiery shield absorbing damage while shield persists. Attack yourself for fire damage. And haste is increased. It's got to be Tinker Slot. So we got a Bracer. And that's a Tinker Slot item. Okay. Okay. What does this do? Unraveling Sands? Huh? Oh, you could put stuff in here. And get scrap out of them. It's the... You know what that is? The scrapping system from BF8. That's exactly what that is. They literally gave us a scrap and says, Oh, hold on, Scarlet Halls? Yo, get in here, man. What the? Oh my god. Just like back in the day. Oh, Lord. Yeah, the quests are worth doing. I wish I had uh, Cleave. I don't have Cleave for a bit. I'm gonna get Cleave. I gotta level up, I think, to get Cleave. Okay, so we can just single target. That's okay. Oh my god, there's your strikes. <laughs> They're doing so much damage. Okay, so I'm useless. Wait, hold on. Do these guys remember how to do this? So if you pick up these, uh, this is a Pandaria thing, the one that changed this. You pick up these buckets of meat food, and you throw them at the guy, the Houndmaster, and they'll jump at the Houndmaster instead of attacking us. Hold on. I don't know if it works. I think you have to be out of combat for it to work. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, but I guess it's just Scarlet Hall's amazing dungeon. Dude, I would have loved this for M+. This should have been a Season 4 M+, dungeon, I'm telling you. I would have loved this place. This is a cool, this is a cool dungeon in general. Look at this mechanic, dude. You have to pick up these. <laughs> a little bit different than the original, but you got to pick up these targets, spread out, and it'll shoot up fire, and you kind of just got to move. Usually I get healed. Hopefully I get healed. Or not. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. Thanks. The healer picked that up? No wonder, dude. Wait, there's a Pandaria guy? Lord of Dungeon Storyteller. Huh. So maybe these guys will stand there, like, and if you need the context behind these dungeons, they'll be like, hey, so this is a dungeon. This is what you do here. La la la. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's see look kind of trolling. Picking up one of these things, dude. What the hell? Or should I maybe back away? I don't even know. This guy's dead, though. That's not even a boss, is it? Yeah, no. Bunch of bronze. This is kind of cool. Hold on. I want to see if I can try to get a uh, the 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 uh, bucket. Oh, please. 
I got him. Look at that. The dogs jump with him and they eat him. So if you do it, you don't have to fight them at all. The dogs eat him and they kind of just pacify themselves. And then you just chill. Okay, this is going to take forever to kill, dude. I don't have any abilities or nothing. This is a slow start for out the rogues. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't even evasion or anything. Healer? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm almost slow, man. What the hell is happening? Do we always die here? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Tank is going to die. This guy doesn't actually heal him. What is he? This priest? Yo. His, probably, like, his abilities are probably not scaling well at all, are they? Oh my god, I all I can do is a sinister strike on slice and dice. Oh, this is gonna be a while, man. Oh man. Hold on, can you do Okay, I was gonna ask, can you do um I was gonna yeah, Evoker's doing a lot of damage alone too, by the way, Jesus. <laughs> I my auto attacks are hitting the guy for eight! Eight! Oh like, you could just drop stuff in here immediately, huh? Oh, it wants you to place some wanted stuff in the bronze thing. Oh, it's for a quest. Okay, I see now. I see. I didn't do that part. Okay. Now I think we're good. Now I think we're good. Final enjoyer. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that's the guy's name. Okay, I didn't even realize. Are you gonna die? Alright, you actually need to take the new stuff. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, you know what? I, I, I tried. He tried to draw aggro on this thing for a second. He was like, ah, I give up. He tried. He thought about it. He, he thought about it for a good second. Then he was like, ah, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh man, I need a blade flurry real bad. Once I get blade flurry, things are gonna get much, much better. But until then, it's gonna be a bit of rough. Once I also need cooldown reduction, man. Once I get that, that'll gonna be great too. I assume that I need to slice and dice up at all times. I guess, yeah, it seems like that's my best damage and ability. I really feel like I'm like a classic vanilla rogue right now. Mostly auto attacks and can send a strike once in a blue moon. <laughs> this is this is rough, man. Oh, there we go. There goes a pistol shot. I wish you could kidney or something. We still gotta kill more Cru uh, Scarlet Crusader dudes for the quest. Workers up here at low level. Yeah, they're pretty strong. I wonder if they're gonna get balanced down. Actually, well, I don't know. Yeah, they're probably. Well, we'll see. Because if they end up scaling okay, right? As they go through levels. Like, they basically, well, like, once we all hit level 70, everybody is chilling. Then I think it'll be fine. But yeah, it looks like playing Evoker early on in levels is probably gonna be massive. You can equip small gems, by the way. These things chipped sapphires? No, it looks like you need to. Also, do we have any buffs here? Okay, attack power. No, we're chilling. Intellect? No, we got one. Well, no, we don't. I mean, it's intellect buff. Because soul mine is not even here. I'm not even buffing us. Just open your gear and slap it. But these things? Critical strike? Oh, you can. Oh, you can. It just gave me crit. Okay, so this ability. Your abilities have a chance to grant you a shield. There goes a shield. And it gives me haste. Basically by 15. Cool. At least I got a shield. But she got an ability. Base some guy? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Except he does have ads come out of the side. What is this, dude? What is this? He's just dead. What is the blaze storm? He's gotta get 10 sacks, right? There goes 10 sacks. Yeah, no even got to do it. That's unfortunate. I feel like he's kinda bugged, but maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. It's a chip for armor. Critical strike. Oh, I see the mastery. Yeah, I didn't even see the mastery part with prismatic gems. Okay. Cool. I had no idea. Yeah, you can actually see the, all the gems. It's sad. Yeah, no, dude. They need to change him a little. They need to change him a little bit. He's probably not functioning properly. Dude, where's the tank? Come on, guy. We need you. If I get a... Uh, what is it? Um, Tricks of trade. That I probably just start tricks of the tanks constantly. Oh, Shadow Step is so nice. Okay, I'm tanking. Okay, I'm tanking. I'm tanking. You know what? I don't think he could all the aggro against you. I think you're actually just gonna have to be tanking a Jake. Like, with how much aggro you can generate and how much damage you do? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Damage brands, targets? Cool. Now we get everybody a Chaos <laughs> Demon Hunter buff. <laughs> Wait, with you doing this, it's gonna be uh, a little much, isn't it? Oh, you're trying to draw everything. Okay. Interesting. 
Healer? Uh, healer? Uh oh. Oh, we're actually all dead. Oh, we're all dead. Hold on. No, we're not. We're alive. I need to know which one of them stuns. Uh, healer's stunned. Healer's dead. Oh, this sucks. Hold on. Um. Uh, I'm dead, aren't I? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried, chat. I tried. I very, I very much tried. <laughs> what the hell is that? I think he just was like, you know what? He's doing so much damage. Just pull everything. I got the blade flurry. Please relax, dear friend. <laughs> uh, so it looks like some of the cost of these things, like the, some of the mounts, some of the higher cost mounts when it comes to bronze, cost as much as six thousand bronze for a mount. Specifically, the reins of the dashing wind steed. So like one of the goats. Yeah, so it's pretty expensive. I wonder if the price is going to be as much as like 100k a pop. Also, yeah, these mobs drop a bunch of gold. I think that's going to be how you can get a bit of gold. Chip Topaz? What'd you give me? What is that? Oh, you can trade gems? Haste? Okay, I mean, I'll take haste. Wait, I can put it more in more. I can put it in my gear. Hold on. Hold on, let me do this. Let me extract. Right? And I can put haste here. I can put crit here. I should have been doing that more regularly. Okay. Just a little bit more haste. Yeah, nice to know that they're tradable. That's actually kind of cool. Do you want uh, armor or do you want mastery gems? Because master. Oh, no, crit is good for you nowadays, right? I'm sure master is good early levels. You get vials so everybody's a healer. Yeah, dude, this is where we need the plunderstorm uh, brew. The uh, rum or whatever you call it. <laughs> I wonder how much XP we're gonna get out of this one, because scenario gave you a level. So like, if you just do a one scenario, a uh, what is a one scenario run, you can just get a bunch. I also want to try to see if we can just queue for heroics right now. I'm sure they're gonna be a lot harder, but I, I wonder if you can. Okay, a bunch of more gems actually. Leech, leech is good. Leech is a good stat. I wonder if it's a lot of leech. This gets very, very similar to the original, but not quite. You don't have to line the side him outside of the room. He basically strikes one of the bookshelves and it just keeps burning and radiating heat. And you gotta do a little bit of a kicks on the guy and also there's a debuff on the tank. But not that bad. Basically, very, very familiar uh, flame weaver kind of guy. Although I'm pretty sure back in classic it wasn't a flame weaver. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna burn those, that bookshelf. That's not working? Okay, so that didn't work at all. Unless somebody took it. A frontal. Oh yeah, he does this now. Yeah, he goes in circles. Get the shot, Blade Flurry. Oh, we are cooking. Oh, we are cooking. We got a level out of it. Oh, adrenaline rush. Give me that. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, well we got all the Scarlet guys, so we should be able to get a level out of this hopefully. Gains 50% critical strike chance of the damage and a stunned enemy. Yo, what? Oh, no way. While you're above 80% health, attack skin 2% maximum to inflict holy damage equal to the amount consumed. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is neat. Hold on, I kind of want to do the stun one. I need a tinker slot? Okay. Oh, this is going to be neat. 50% more damage to stun targets, man. Oh, kidney shotting or cheap shotting in the open is going to be the play. We two levels out of this. What? Oh, this is so good! Oh no, tricks of trade. Yeah, we'll do tricks of trade. So like tanks can actually get aggro. Alright, uh, I guess we bail. We'll leave that one, Jake. You got Dora Shadows? Did I just see you press Dora Shadows? Hold on a second. I did not, did I? By the way, these guys are really spawn, so you can kill them and get your, uh... What is it? Get this quest done. Yo, let's queue for another dungeon. There's no shadow, just got Dora Shadows, man. Hold on. Hold on, come here, come here, come here. Okay, well you do your thing real quick. I'll wait for you. No, Shadow just got Door. <laughs> door of Shadows is back, boys! Oh, if you didn't play in Shadowlands. Shadowlands was an iffy expansion, but Door was awesome. So this one immediately has... You got Leech or Mastery? I think I'll just take Leech for now. These stats are so weird. Hold on. Avoidance? And we got Cogwheel? Okay, what is this kind of gem? Tinker Gem. Tinker Gem. 
Is this a cogwheel gym, right? Cogwheel socket. So I don't have a cogwheel so Oh, I do. Sprint. Oh, I got another sprint. Hold on a second. I got two sprints. Sprint one and sprint two. Huh? <laughs> Hold on. I need to look at all these. What? I got two sprints? Your abilities have a chance to grant uh, frost armor absorbing damage. Attacks made against frost armor and splinters fragments of ice inflict frost damage to the attacker. So that's a uh, tinker gem. So I could remove this. Wait, what's my other tinker gem? In Kindle? I am thinking swap out in Kindle. Okay. And I'm thinking add a. Um, this one with frost armor, right? Yeah. Abilities have a chance to grant me frost armor absorbing damage. And I also splinter and slow people. That's going to be kind of cool. Okay, neat. And I have a blue gem here, or a blue gem here, so I only have two of these, two of these, two of these. Didn't I have a blue, one of the yellow gems socketed, socketed in earlier? Yellow gem, yellow gem. Hold on, that's what I could do. Take out this yellow, combine all three into a new one. I got a better gem, combine three of this gem to create a powerful haze gem, so haze plus plus for this one. Okay, it's still not a lot of haze, but it does give me a little bit. Interesting. Okay, do your thing. Do your door. Do your door. Because I can sprint, man. You got door, I got sprint. Went through your door. Door of Shadows. Oh, that's so cool. Ready to see door? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's such a cool ability. It basically, let's port to an area. Think of it like a heroic leap with a cast. It's really, really cool. Okay, let's try to do this. Let's queue for a heroic scenario. I want to see if these work. I wonder if the gear from these are going to be different. And let's do it for a random heroic dungeon while we continue to quest. Wait, what? Okay, it's trying to kill us, but it may not be working. Okay, I think heroic scenarios don't work. Yeah, I don't think heroic scenarios work. It keeps taking us to the front of the queue. It says someone's declined. It's not us declining, right? Okay. Look here for a normal scenario. Just because it was a lot of XP. Keep saying, okay, okay, we'll go. I'll go with ya. Doing kill stuff. Or is it you declining? Because I don't. <laughs> or is it? Just, I'm gonna assume that's a UI thing, right? I'm just gonna assume it's a UI thing. I also gotta change on my cell bar a little bit. Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't have something for yet anyway, so it's not like I can really do my ambushes. Once I can, though. Maybe I should go into the pistol shot, not ambush window. Ah, it doesn't even matter until I get like some of the better pistol shot things. Pistol shot talents. Woke up early today, ha. Huh? Very, very early. Yes, very early. Oh my god, I gotta get so many of these abilities. Like, on the, uh... On my bars. Too many. Oh, Blade Flurry. Yeah, we can actually do damage. Look at that shield we got. Does it do a lot of damage? It does a bit. It definitely does a bit. I'll say we'll need to make sure to take down the, uh, what is it, the munitions. There's a lot of those here. I think there's a lot inside. There's one below, but we should probably just keep going, honestly. Arnhem just zoomed over here out of nowhere. He just charged me. Okay, that was weird. Wait, let me stun this guy? Ooh! Yeah, critical strike chance increased by 50? Yo! Yeah, so if you can stun things, I can... Wait, is is it whenever I attack a crit, a stun target I get crit? 50% uh, crit strike chance for 4 seconds of damaging a stun enemy. Okay, so if I can just stun things in the opener, I just can get crit. So like, like, cheap shot? Yeah, so cheap shotting for that crit probably is the play then for me. Okay. What is this? Annoy the enemy for 40 seconds of destination. Engaging them in combat or playing welts on these well doors causes an enemy to take 5% increased damage for 5 seconds. Damage and the enemy has a chance to apply more welts. I can throw bees at them? Okay. Alright. I'm okay with that. What the hell is this? 
10% of the damage taken grants you healing blood up to 100% of your max health. Every 3 seconds healing blood is extended to heal you if you are injured. A self heal? It sounds like that trinket from BFA. Doesn't it? It's on PTR? This is on PTR, yeah. Have you done the other quest? Oh wait, you still need to destroy munitions. Uh, let's destroy munitions inside. Being DQ'd? I have no idea. I'm gonna try releases for a... a rogue dungeon. And I'll do... I'll try Heroic Scenario again, but I don't really know if it'll work. Oh yeah, I have another sprint, I forgot. Okay, now we can do this. Okay, so stuff is broken. At least Qs are broken, it looks like. I'm gonna assume it is the... Scenarios that are broken. I'm gonna try queuing for a dungeon, but I think scenarios are broken. At least I'm gonna assume. Because it looks like every time we try to queue for heroic scenario, it just like insta it declines us. We don't even do anything for it. As if we're to speed up. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit quicker. Uh, the leveling. It's like uh, expediated leveling or whatever they call it. But yeah, it's gonna be just a little quicker than normal. Yeah, I have a video on it um, on the channel if you want to check it out. That's always going to be there. Are you just dropping that thing randomly to for us to swap out gear? Okay, I'll put these things in here. All these things scrappable. Okay, it's like 21 bronze each, it looks like. I'm also going to skip all the story stuff, by the way. I know you've done this quest way, way back in the day. Fuller restores, figure and grants a burst of speed. You can get a Drake treat? Okay, restores health. Increase the stamina for 30 minutes. Hold on. So now we got a draw to health. Interesting. Neat. Another level. Uh oh, I don't even know where to put it. Energy. Oh please, God, yes. Please give me my energy. Wait, we gotta stick around. Hold on. Yeah, we gotta wait for him. Wait, this is could fly already? Oh, we can fly. What the hell? We can already fly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Extract the gem. Hold on. It's teaching me how to do gem extraction. Okay. Let's give me a bunch of these chipped uh, gems now. Cool. I'm gonna put them here. More crit. Beautiful. Woo. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Nice. I think we're good now. <laughs> this is weird. We can only fly off the bat, like low 15. This is weird. Axes and Dragonfly mounts. Exactly. 75 XP active in PTR. It is, uh, so it's not exactly active. It's not a PTR thing. It's a time running thing. It's a time running thing. Uh, right now, I don't have that much experience gain, but you can't get as much, that much of experience gain. There's a good chance you probably like a thumbnail thought, oh, massive XP gains in PTR. That's it's for this mode specifically. But you gotta get a gem or a right cut a cloak upgrade to be able to earn it. So yes and no. <laughs> I think you've been bamboozled. Whatever streamer had the 327 XP on their thumbnail, bamboozled your friend. Okay, so we got these shot. We just hit one of the big shot guys and we're good. Are you fighting someone up there, Jake? Are you trying to fly inside or trying to fly outside? Yeah, we just gotta kill one more dude. And we'll be chilling. I got a card. Return to a nearby infinite bazaar. Hold on. Hold on, Jake. Do you get one of those? The bazaar things? Do you get one of those bazaar things? Oh, yeah. Because we could check out the bazaar. Okay, so now we gotta do all these things. I like the shield that I got. Oh my god. Wish I had a little bit of range. 
There's gonna be a couple of those before I reach that. Nope, okay. But we gotta find a bazaar at some point. I'm sure it's gonna be next to like one of the main villages here. I do wanna check out the bazaar. At some point today, if possible. <laughs> if possible. I also do want to go and make a video talking a little bit about this whole experience a bit. Just a first impression, but yeah, I you know, kind of want to make get a clip out on YouTube if possible. A dungeon kill is not popping. And I'm hoping to see if we can get a heroic dungeon done now. It looks like you can queue for them, but maybe not. It might be one of those things that's like restricted until you're higher levels. Maybe that's why like the heroic time walking or heroic scenarios was not working for me. I got all the berries by the way. I don't know if you got yours yet. Oh, I don't know if it like if it counts whenever I got mine. If you get if you also can get yours. This is funny. <laughs> he just stuck them there. She's just like poking him with a stick. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Oh, is this the bazaar? Hold on. I think this is the bazaar. There's a bunch of the, what is it? Uh, these guys. Voucher. You can pick up a bazaar thing right now. Hold on. Dragon riding. Wait, I don't know this tutorial. Yeah. Wait. wait what? We haven't done this before. Dragon riding, what is she doing? Wandering Isles. Where's this taking me? Oh, it's a dragon riding thing. Okay, okay, okay. Is this like... Skip the dragon riding tutorial. Oh, time to return. Oh, wait. I'm doing all weird. Time to return. Okay. So this like teaches you how to do dragon riding if you haven't done it before. Okay, cool. So like if you're new to WoW, you never done dragon riding before, you can get a quest in order to like teach you dragon riding. Cool. Um, wild things. It looks like there's a legendary quest back here. Infinite growth. I'm gonna guess that's where the bazaar is at. Okay, I say we do a couple more quests, Jake, and we go check out the bazaar. Or if you want to check out bazaar right now, we can. Vindication. 10% of damage collective vindication, 3 vindication consumed when you heal 3 allies. Okay, cool. Neat. More of these gems. Got more gear. I got time runners bandages. Wait, you reduce the moon speed? Oh, you could actually move while casting it. Neat. The gems create versatility. Versatility is actually really good for me. Hold on, maybe I should swap out one of the gems for that. Actually, no, crit is fine. Not like it really does anything right now. It's just 1%. It's not a lot. Okay, I got a lot of these. Alright. Uh, oh god. <laughs> There's a lot of itemization and like item management for me to do here. We got Scroll of the Wild, which is the Druid buff. Battleshout buff. Gems wise, I don't think I got anything new. Um, although, I kind of like the speed gem here over the avoidance. So let's do this. Let me... Pop that out of here, and I guess I'll equip it here just so I have sprint. Cool. You heal it now with these bandages? I guess so. Yeah. Hold on. Heals the caster for ten. Oh, the caster, so I can't heal another person, unless it still lets me. But I could be wrong on that. What is happening? You have been reconnected to the chat server. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Wait, there's a guy here too. Innkeeper. Almost what a hearthstone is. Okay, so this is where you get a hearthstone. Cool. You get so many of these boxes, man. Okay, I'll say this is my in for now. Let's go check out the, uh, what is it? Let's go check out the, where are ya? Oh, you're already there. Okay, I'm gonna fly to ya. Legend request to get dailies unlocked. Wait, is it? Okay, let's check out the, uh, let's check out the bazaar and let's check out the legend request. Or I'll go to go check out the legend request real quick since you've already been there apparently. Uh cooldown sprint. Yeah, I need a mobility. All the mobility I can get. Actually probably stealth is better. 
Yeah, it's uh, all good, all good, all good. It's, it's still, like, healers are still healers. You do get a scroll of res. So if you need somebody to be B-res, you could B-res them. So you don't need a healer with a B-res. So you can play any class you wanted to then. That's kind of cool. What's this? Okay, Cloud Serpent. Um, Daily Order of the Cloud Serpents. Unlock a quest for completion on the Order of Cloud Serpent storyline. Oh! So this is a storyline for these this faction. So in Pandaria, to get your first serpent, you had to do a bunch of dailies until you got yourself enough, like, dailies done in order to get your rep. And I think you get to raise a dragon, raise your own serpent. So is that what it's gonna be? Daily quest with the serpent faction. That seems about right. I, I think they changed that for retail, but I guess they brought that back in for, for this. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, it gives you like a quest here. Act collection, empty nests. Yeah, it gives you dailies. What do I do with you? They gotta bring it back. Uh, do I bring him to these things? Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, so you gotta run around and collect a bunch of them. I keep trying to grapple hook, but I forget that I have sprint on there. <laughs> my second sprint. <laughs> Just using my second sprint, no biggie. <laughs> You're being like 20 minutes? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna do these quests and I'll go check out the bazaar then. I do a thing. I'll probably need to hop off here in a bit to make a video on uh, all this. Hop down here early to try to see if I can get this done. Get a clip out on YouTube and also get my 5521 dual stream thing done. Actually, hold on. I have uh, about another hour. Some, I've been a, what, like one hour? Yeah, I think I have about another hour. I'll keep going. How many of these do I have now? Should be enough, right? I only need six. Or, yeah, I only need six. Okay, well, I'll have a bunch of them. That should be enough, hopefully. Uh, double sprint, lower CD on sprint while in Dalaran mobility. Yeah, is it actually. Hold on a second. Wait, do I bring you guys to here then? Okay, I do. Wait, okay, so this is a one minute cooldown. Hold on, if I switch this over, does this become a two minute cooldown? Because this is a one minute now. Now it's a two minute. One minute. Okay, so I was thinking, like, what if it counts sprint as like a rogue sprint? So if a talent did the sprint talents, will it still buff it? My initial thought was like, it probably shouldn't work like that. And I was correct. It shouldn't work like that. And it doesn't. Oh, grapple hook. We got it. Okay, so sprint button has to go somewhere else. I don't know where I'll put you. I don't know where I'll put you. <laughs> uh, where do I put you? I think I want to take away the sprint button and get something else in there then. Unless I give up step. I could give up step, couldn't I? No, not really. No, if I want to go this way, I have to cut step. So never mind. Uh... Sarlisk, okay. Need to kill a couple more of you. Maybe it's a rookie, you just add a second charge to your current sprint. I think that'd be a way to do it. What I could do is put it here. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. But yeah, you are gonna have to get a separate key bind just for that stuff. That's for sure. Is this where I get the eggs? Oh, I get a lot more Sarlisk here. And the eggs. Yeah, beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. What else do I have? Okay, nothing yet. Do 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 Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Wish I had vanish. What level do I get a vanish? Everybody know. Soon. Very soon. Oh man, riding around on a dragon and around these zones is so much nicer. Look at that. He just looped over and now we're chilling. 
Oh yeah, I get to select my egg. I want a blue one. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Wait, is this going to be a condensed version of this quest? Or is it going to be like a daily thing? Because I just got my dragon or my uh, serpent. Ooh, is that going to be a dragon riding serpent? Because I, I know it's, it's like prob it wasn't back in Mount Missipanaria. But I wonder if they changed them for this event specifically. Because they are supposed to be a dragon and they're supposed to have dragon riding. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, so you have to do all these daily quests to raise your dragon. It was just like a thing in Pandari they added, which is weird to see, you know? Because this same kind of tech is not utilized today. Like when you do your whelpling um, daycare in um, Saldrazas. Like this is the same kind of tech from back in the day, man. History. It's got a little dragon thing. Ooh, and that eventually grows into a big old mount. You can ride it. But you gotta keep coming back, keep feeding him, keep uh, training him. And then I think you gotta do... Practice races or something? I'm not even sure. But I think this was stuff you could do at the very... Like once you had max level, but it looks like it lets you do it now. Yeah, now you gotta do the dailies. The dailies even give you anything? I mean, they give me caches. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stolen eggs. Yeah, so it's just same old, same old. We'll do them one more time just to see what kind of rewards we get. But also gather eggs around close up place. Yeah, there are a lot of like eggs you could gather up in the um, up in the mountains here. There's a lot of things like onyx eggs that you could collect all over these like ridges and stuff. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Onyx egg. And that would give you a rep as well. Those were really, really hard to find because one, a lot of people looked at, were looking out for them. Uh, was that my lights? Interesting. If my power cuts out randomly, boys, nothing I can do about it. We'll be back as soon as I can. Actually, if my power cuts out, then I won't be back until the 5511 dual stream. Oh yeah, now that no one's been here, man, I can pick up all the eggs. Oh, hell yeah. That's gonna be easy rep. Holy, hold on a second. Can I just farm up the rep right now? How many do you need? I know you need like a lot. But I don't remember exactly how many. I just like use my brain here. Which don't work so good, Jenny. Um... To remember like where the eggs were I don't really remember them super well I'm going off of like rough memory and by rough I mean like my memory is very very rough this this nugget doesn't hold much but yeah you could collect a bunch of these onyx eggs that were very very hard to come by because a lot of people farmed them and they gave you a lot of rep so like they were really really good I guess we'll find out how many we get. I'm not going to do this for too long, but you can find them. That was huge back then, and I'm sure it's going to be farmed even now. I think it was just to get through the rep as soon as possible. Was it time gated rep, or was it like you needed to get enough rep before you could advance with the dragon stuff? It might have been like you need to get enough rep before you, your dragon grows. It wasn't like he grows after a certain X amount of days or whatever. But I could be wrong on that. Do, 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 do. That would be a rep was definitely killer. It definitely was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. There was a lot of mop rep things in the game. Definitely a ton. Oh, wait, there's upgrade gear guy? Okay, after this, I do want to check out the bazaar. I'm going to do these quests, chat. I'm going to go to the bazaar. So we can see what you can do with it. But apparently you can upgrade gear. And I haven't been able to see that yet. I'm gonna get them all grouped up. I can just cleave them all at once. <laughs> yeah, eggs were definitely a faster way to go. That's for sure. Man, this character dude feels like dicks forever for me to use my abilities, dude. My energy is just none. Non-existent. 
du, 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 du. Oh yeah, my cloak. I got 1% uh what is it? 1% more XP gains. Huge. I wonder if you gotta kill certain enemies to get experience gains, right? I wonder if you could farm up like a certain type of enemy to get more chances at XP gains for your cloak. I wonder if that's a thing. Oh! Hold on, I got a purple chat. Look at this! Shroud your party members of 40 yards of the void, granting them a shield absorbing damage for 10 seconds, reducing the health to 1, damage taken from this effect is added to the absorb. I can give everybody a big shield now, when they're super super low. Leech is increased by 10, 10% of leech your party, I kinda wanna do that too. Hold on, I wanna do this. What does this do? Out of combat, game purge pride, vanish from sight, entering stealth, next attack granted to be critical strike. I got stealth? <laughs> Wait, you got, I got stealth! <laughs> Just for killing a random slither scale thing. Holy, that's so good! I got stealth! Okay, we'll sprint over. You got this guy out of here, we'll hit him with a 1 2. Okay, well, I want to try these now. And we got a maze. Oh, this actually gives a lot more agility. But then, can I equip it now? Yeah, give me that. Hell yeah. Up and upgrade just like that, boys. Slam, get out of that. Stealth, literally stealth, and like any other class can get stealth too. It looks like it's temporary, like it's instantly applied to me. I don't think I can do much with it. Crit uh, gloves. I actually kind of wanted to crit gloves instead. So let's take these gloves, remove the item out of it, and I'm gonna put in the. <laughs> Wait, what is it? what kind of gem is this? It's a matter gem, so I can't use it. That's a tinker gem. Is this tinker gem? I'll do the leech. Meta gem. So I need an item that has a meta slock, socket. I think I just got one. Yeah, meta socket. Helm. Oh, that's so cool. Hold on. Uh, call us into an orb of fear void, increasing grid damage taken to my enemies. Okay, we're doing this one. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, look at that. Okay, where the hell are we going to put you? Just space? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! That's so cool! Okay, oh, the, Jake, I got a lot to try out now, man. Okay, well, we got all these dailies. I'm gonna go turn in my eggs real quick, see how much rep and stuff I got. Uh, and then we're gonna go check out the bazaar, boys, okay? Remember that one? Pearl Blue Dash from Cobb Rogue? Yeah, yeah. That was dope. That is cool. That is cool. Wait, what's up here? What is that? Oh, you can just collect random bronze in the sky. I like that. Hell yeah. All right, let's see what I get here. Onyx, yeah, give me the eggs. Let me turn these in really quick. Get a bunch of chests. I'll turn in a bunch of rep. Oh, level up. Oh, between the eyes. Oh, boys, we got it. They grow like weeds. Wait, am I dragon growing? Is that what's happening? Onyx egg? I can just keep putting them in. Oh, dude, you get a lot of rep out of this. 16,000 rep. 500 bonus. Cool. Hold on. And I got a quest here. Is this going to be my How to Train Dragon quest? Oh, okay. We get to see my, my, my serpent. So he's growing already. I guess I got a lot of rep pretty early on. Did it grow? Much time and patience and love. Behold your serpent now. He grew that quick. <laughs> he was just a little baby. Look at him now. It's actually like a what is that S streak mark on his back? What the hell is that? What the hell is even that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. A dragon will grow until you get a license to ride it. I gotta get my dragon license. It looks like it grew really quickly though. Really quickly. Free mount, basically. Gotta put a saddle on him. Neat. So I get, uh, remind me, chat, was this doable like when you were leveling in Pandaria or was this only like a max level character thing? Because I remember doing this only once I hit max level. Death quicker. That's good, right? You get to experience the entire breadth of content. Life of six cloud rings on oh, my serpent. Oh, I do. 
Do you have dragon riding, little guy? Wait, I still have stealth. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so this is what flying was like back then, man. How do I... I can't even see the rings, man. Am I flying through one? That's a ring. One. Yeah, this was our dragon races back in the day. How far have we come? Oh god, I, didn't, I can't even tell what's a circle, what isn't a circle. Is it just me? Am I blind? That's a circle. Go a little quicker. What the hell's another one of these? Is that a circle? I can't even tell, dude. Oh, there's a circle. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna get there fast enough. <laughs> this was our dragon races back in the day, man. Back in Pandaria. Oh man. Is this a circle? I can't even tell. That's a circle. Oh, that counts up burning. One more. One more. <laughs> I was thinking it was like if I exit the vehicle, it'll just put me back where I was, but apparently not. All right, let me get some real flying in here for a second. Never did it. Why one with gold? Hated daily. Wait, what? Only buy the one with gold? Really? Okay. So now I gotta do instructions? I think I just sped run it, boys. I can disengage? No way! Oh, no shot! Hold on. Where's my mobility ability? What a, is this sprint? Yo, give me disengage, man. Oh, it's a rogue. Oh, that's so cool. I got disengage, boys. Oh, my goodness. Healing ally beneath a certain amount. Okay, Nito. Versatility. Shoulder? And it's a tinker slot? Hold on. Tinker slot, tinker slot, tinker slot. What's another tinker gem that I have? I can do a heal. I can do a shield. 80 above 80% health. I kind of want to do this for holy damage. <laughs> Wait, what do I do? Come on, Wind Serpent again. I missed him. Okay, I'm going to do this Wind Serpent thing just to see like if I can just get him now, I guess. Ask him ability. There you go. Exactly, man. Exactly. I just need to try out the other meta gem. Okay, so I got to follow instructions. I don't remember how to do any of this. Oh, she got like an onyx serpent. Okay. I'm just cooler, man. Rose of this race, follow me. But she even put like a leash on me. <laughs> yeah, these are the dragon, the old dragon races, man. Yeah, look at that flying. That's so much faster. Can I go? It's like mom put a leash. Dude, it's like I'm like one of those kids on a mall whose moms put like a leash on them or like a harness on them. I, that's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. Guide you with this rope to get you away from me. Okay, so I gotta follow her. I guess you gotta fly through all the checkpoints. Is that what she's saying? Okay. She's also not moving quickly either, so it's like I can I literally get in front of her and get ahead of her. That is so lame. Flags. Mark the race course. If you got lost, you could use this flag to guide you. Okay, yeah. So just following the balloons. Dude, they, they, uh, this is this is slow. I want to quit this and just go do something else, man. Oh, now she's going faster. It's like a little bit. Is she getting speed that I'm not? I'm trying to go as quick as I can. Please? Oh, dude, she's actually getting so far away. I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. Oh, she's smoothing, man. I can't catch up. I can't catch up. Slow down, lady. Oh, no, she's not even slowing down. I'm too... F I I'm trying to stay close, man. I'm holding W. I'm holding my W key. Okay, please don't go too far. Where? Which way are you going? Okay, that's the speed you're gonna be flying in. Okay, now I'm a little slow. What is happening? <laughs> Disengage, grapple back easy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Too far. 
I'm going as fast as I can. What the hell? Holy, please. Lady, I'm gonna fail the quest if you get too far. Are you turning? You're turning. Okay, I can cut you. I can cut over to you. I can cut over to you. There we go. Oh, God. Dude, I was about to fail a quest. Imagine having to do this all over again. It would have been so lame. Okay. Get me out of here. Get me in a real dragon. Hold on. Let me disengage over there. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. Just disengage over. Turn in the quest. Fly through rings. I don't know if I want to do the entire quest, man. I, I'm going to come back here later. Yeah, let's go check out the bazaar, boys. Let's go check out the bazaar. Let's see what kind of rewards they have on there. Then we'll go and see if we can melt our gear that we don't want. Can I also melt my gems that I don't want? Like if I don't want any of these? Like the armor, I guess. Oh, okay. Look at this. So this is where the bazaar is, huh? It's like surrounded in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the bazaar. So here I collect my 10 bronze. I can upgrade my gear. Oh, and you use a bronze to upgrade your eye. Oh, God. You can upgrade for a while, huh? You can upgrade items for quite a while. Look at that. So if you find the stats you like, you can just keep them upgraded for like ever and ever and ever. Okay, interesting. Must be a higher level to upgrade. Okay, so you don't have to... You can't upgrade past a certain point, though. I didn't even upgrade this. I can upgrade this, though. Critical strike, heals per second. So you have to be a certain level for these. Okay. So it's maybe worth upgrading your items early on, if possible. Like, if you find the stats you like, but... Yeah, don't worry too much about it. Go mostly, wait until you have more higher item level pieces to upgrade. Whoa. Wait. Beastmaster. Oh, okay. So you can get a bunch of uh, mounts here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of mounts on here. Holy. Oh, you can get these guys thundering ones. Yo, you can get the uh, thundering onyx. Kalacha GG. Oh, my. You can get all the dungeon raid mounts, huh? Look, you can actually get every raid mount and all the new stuff, too. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, these guys are going to be a definitely a lot more expensive. But these guys, the new ones, are less expensive. But if you want to get the actual, like, Son of Galleon, it's going to be quite a quite a pretty penny. But you can get it if you wanted to. Oh, hell yeah. Class appear apparel? Hold on. Oh, the red version of the class sets. Are you kidding me? You just got to be, what, complete? I'll determine running achievement. Okay. Yo, you can get the other class sets, I imagine, too, right? Oh, that's cool. You get the orange one. Not as cool as red, but it's still neat. I do wonder what everybody else gets. Okay, so there's vendors. You guys, what are you vendor for? Raid finder apparel. Oh, you can get the entire raid finder set. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So you can get a whole entire set of raid finder gear if you wanted to. From Mr. Pandaria. Okay, gear-wise, you can get a lot of stuff. Neat. Yeah, every single raid in here. I'm just kind of going through these just, like, for B-roll. Yo. Yeah, all of them raid finder appearances. Is this guy normal raid appearances? So you can get all the appearances by the looks of it, right? Are you snacks and scrolls? Oh, you can get a bunch of stuff here. Neat. Okay, so we have the normal and we have the raid finder versions, but do we have the mythic versions? Inside maybe, huh? Okay, what do you do? Looking for a group? Oh, defeat the dungeon bosses. So there's like a quest to, to do group stuff. Looking for more to raid bosses. World Apparel. Complete a scenario. Oh, chat! But yo, Shadow Pansa, dude! There it is! Oh, and you can get the, uh, what is the golden version? Silver and sh bronze version of Shadow Pansa. Yo! Oh, you can get the Shaman Ensemble. Wait, I can get this right now. Hold on. 
Reset. We get the Pandaria set. Look at that. Mop monk sets, man. Shaman sets too. Yeah, the full Pandaria attire, man. Look at that. Oh, what the hell is this? Ensemble pearl clothing. This is new. I don't think this was in the game before, right? Vestments. Lore Walker stuff. Okay. So it's like... Like uh, questing gear then, right? Like leveling gear. That's what it looks like. Oh, okay, so this is the dungeon sets. Yeah, this is the leather sets. Different recolors of those. Male sets. Plate sets, which have this, like, samurai appearance. And these are, like... Oh, okay. These are a little different. These are the, um... It's, like, pre-dungeon gear or something. And you get recolors of those. I like the cloth one. I'm not... I wasn't a really big fan of this one. Male one's pretty cool. And the plate one is also pretty cool, too, yeah. Okay, wow. And she's like, how you mog stuff? If you want to get a mog. Yeah, you got all the mugs. Cool. Uh, do I have my old sets? No, I don't. Okay, I just need to get myself like a decent set of weapons. Can I do these? Yeah. Yeah, I can do these. Hell yeah. Cool, you can mod your character. This guy here, too. See, he has a bunch of toys from Pandaria. Okay. Alright, cool. So there's a- Bazaar has a bunch of stuff in there, man. That's crazy. Mastery, Leech, Avoidance. I'll drop this as well. Okay, so we got a little bit of bronze. Not a lot. So you get a lot of bronze, I guess, from like endgame activities and stuff, huh? I'm gonna assume. Okay. Shatterpan, Radium, Mog, Helen's a favorite, and Mop. Yeah, yeah, that's that was really, really cool. That one's very, very cool. Hemet Nessingari? Oh, it's Hemet. Hemet Nessingari, the what? The 10... 17th? Yeah, the 17th. XVII. That's f interesting. Wait, there's another vendor here. Gems? Oh, you can actually buy gems. Obtain a Chinker gem you don't possess. Obtain a Meta gem you don't possess. Wait, can we just buy a bunch of gems? I want to buy a bunch of Meta gems. I am to carry more of oh, you can carry only one. Okay. Oh, hold on. We got a bunch of gems here. I got Thunder and Orb. Hold on. Is that the one that turns me into an orb? Yeah, transform into a nature orb. Doing a bunch of damage. Oh, okay. Hold on, chat. I want to try this out. So this void one was cool. But we got a new orb. And that's cool that you can just go to a vendor and be like, Hey, can I get a thing I don't have yet? Hold on. Let me door shadows too. <laughs> door shadows. Movement speed increased by 5% and you have immune to falling damage. Oh, but let's have a chance to increase your haste. That actually is kind of huge. I think that's even better than the shield. Or, yeah. Our Vampiric Aura. Uh, I kind of like Vampiric Aura. I think I'll take away the shield. Yeah, this could be really good. All right, boys. Look at this. More. Ah, it's so cool. Okay, let me try this orb. Oh, yeah, I'm literally a thundering orb. That's cool. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bail on uh, my friend here, on the Jakey boy. And I'm gonna queue up for a dungeon. Let me see if we can find one. We'll do a scenario or a dungeon, whatever gives me more XP. And I'll just continue on my quest for a bit here. I'll keep going for a little bit, get a couple more levels out of this thing. I'm back? Oh, okay, hi. Hold on, let me leave. Let me leave. Just got back. Okay. Let me make a group again. <laughs> Actually, I make one called Questing, maybe? Yeah, I'll make a group called Questing. I'll call it Dal. And we'll group up and we'll do this together. We'll queue up for scenario, queue up for a dungeon. I checked out the vendor, by the way, it's really cool. It's very, very cool. Here I go. Let's go up. Uh, random dungeon. Are you healing? Okay. Oh, random scenario. Or random scenario bugged? Yeah, I need to leave the scenario. Oh, 
Oh, let me swap to Prez. I think it'll be fine, honestly. It should hopefully let you swap here. Oh, there's even a quest inside, man. Oh, that's funny. All right, boys. Another dungeon. Another day, another dungeon. And we even got a quest for a dungeon, too. So I'm going to try this lightning bolt ability. Uh, I'm going to try door. It's going to be very, very fun. At what level do I get um, Roll the Bones, by the way? Oh, man. Between the eyes of a bag, boys. A bag, baby. We got all the crits for days. Crits for days. 20% more crit just because. <laughs> this guy's actually taking a while to die. Hold on a second. Normally, these things melt so quickly in, like, uh, in, in Dragonflight version of this thing. Or, like, when you're just a normal level in dungeon. But things actually die here for... Take a while to die. Probably because we don't have an Evoker. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> oh, this is a three minute cooldown? Okay. Wait, did, does he know? He doesn't know. He doesn't wait to skip all this. You don't have to fight all these guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, wait, we do have an evoker. Except he's not here. Maybe he's doing stuff? Like a quest? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I do give you group uh, ten percent leech. I wonder if that's uh, doing anything. Yeah, everybody's leech healing. Yeah, leeches are probably doing something. Probably doing something. Infinite power. What did it just do? Forty threads for the cloak. Okay. I guess the cloak is buffed up a bit. Four percent extra XP gains. I'll take it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need a cooldown reduction really bad, man. And roll the bones. Oh, Leech Grant increased by 1 or 4. I don't even know if that's good then. Yeah, I mean, I get 10% Leech, but group Leech is not that great. I'm thinking maybe swap out my Leech gem. Reduce magic damage taken by 9% or reduce magic You get Grounding Totem? <laughs> Wait, you can literally get Grounding Totem. Oh, that's hilarious. Maybe I should use that. <laughs> Imagine if you could just ground boss abilities, dude. Okay. I got Lightning Orb. I'll use it in the next room with a bunch of skellies. But for now, yeah, probably want, I think I want to maybe pick up Grounding Totem or something else. Oh, yeah, Evokers are just beaming it. Holy, dude. Time Skippy. Are you Dev? Are you Prez? Your boss should be switching over. I think I'm gonna swap out my leech for like actual damage ability. Probably get this shield with haste or something. Oh, helm? Is it better? It is better. Oh man. I gotta swap out my helm now. Oh, uh, oh no. Okay, we'll try this light orb again. That is a better helm we just got. I think I'll do this maybe. The blood thing? No, I'll do the shield. Uh, leech. Kirk Aura, give me a shield. Cool. War Within? Nope. Not War Within. This is Mr. Pandaria, uh, new mode. It's like a new leveling mode. Pretty cool so far. Yeah, group them up, group them up. Hold on. Hey! Oh, I do a lot of damage with that. Hold on a sec. Oh, got all the aggro. I got the aggro. Okay, that does a lot of damage. That's a big button. Look at that, dude. The thundering orb. <laughs> That's so good. Wait, if you group everything up and just thunder people down. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I'm a shaman, boys. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Blade Fleur, please. There I go. Any poisons, too? Damn. Forgot about those. There's a guy on ya. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should pick up that crit buff one. Because I feel like getting 70% more crit or whatever. It's probably better, isn't it? Uh, Yeah, we'll do this. I'll pick this up. Because there's a lot of things you can stun. I get myself these buffs. Also, we never buffed up, by the way. We don't have any array buffs in here. Probably should have done that. 
Get the power over the headpiece. I don't know which one you got. I might switch around with the ones I have though. Are they all three minute cooldown or are they different? Uh oh. Okay, yeah. These models and these uh, ads that kind of do some weird stuff then. Understood. Mm -mm -mm. Locus of power. Oh, that one. Yeah. I've seen that one in Wowhead. I don't even know what that one does, really. Gloves? Did it just get better gloves? Haste? Yeah. Sorta. Orange gem? Speed. Okay, I can start combining some of the gems together by the looks of it. Intellect? We don't have intellect buff. Stamina? We don't have that either. Part of the wild looks like we do. Brand? Okay. Now we get brand. Yeah, this guy doesn't really know how to do the uh, skip. Because you can uh, pull these guys and pull them around the corner and they'll all run out. And you'll have to fight each bone weaver on your own. You just line aside them by drawing the aggro and going behind the corner and then let them group up. Okay, once my, uh, what is it, the Thunder and Orb ability comes back off cooldown, I think what I'll do is I'll try the other one, the uh, Void Orb, with the crit damage or whatever it's called. I don't know if the crit will be better, but maybe like we'll open a cheap shot might be a nice start. Okay, I could quickly set up my buttons and give myself a new ability. Yeah, it looks like all of them are three minutes each and every single. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I guess we got the orb now. We got the shield. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I I picked up a wrong ability. Hold on, can I reset it up? This is the one that I wanted. Is it three minutes also? Yeah, it's three minutes also. Wait, that guy just died. <laughs> Wait, that guy just died from me doing that. <laughs> I just killed that guy using my orb ability. Oh no. <laughs> I got died. <laughs> okay, so it's a fatty shield, but it sacrificed a lot of health. So that's like more of a big defensive for the group. Interesting. It seems like a tank utility or whatever. Or healer utility, maybe. Well, this guy hurts, dude. Every single strike hits hard. Hold on, you actually have to heal him. He needs to press a defensive. Uh-oh. This hurts. Yeah, he's got to kite him. Because look at that, he's rusting. Okay, everything here kind of hurts. I kind of like that. Attacks consume active absorb shield to inflict arcane damage equal to the amount of consumed. Wait, you could get some power combos here. Hold on. I want to try this now. I want to get a shield here. I'm going to get a shield here. And I'm going to use it here. So this is going to be my power absorb. Right? This one is going to be my shield. Which is um, this one. And this is going to be my fire shield. And I consume my fire shields to give myself a bunch of damage. That's how we're going to do it. Alright, chat. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. I kind of want to go back to Disengage, by the way. I think Disengage was a little better. Oh, you got these Spark Splinters? Oh, you gave us Splinters! Oh, no way! That's cool. Mm, let's do Cheat Death, I guess. Uh, and let's do... I want to do Mobility. Ability is good. Yeah, look at the shield, man. I'm consuming this shield to do arcane damage. 
Yeah, it's draining the shield. Look at that. Once the Lillian goes to full uh, Mongo mode, I'm gonna try to see if I can hit her with the Oblivion Sphere. Unless we can kill her right here. Actually, the Evokers might be able to kill her here. So they just do a bit more damage. Got it. Yeah, if you just do enough damage, yeah, you can just... <laughs> just end this really quickly. We got a belt? Okay, and that's a Tinker slot? Hold on. I can add an extra ability in here. Hold on a second. What do I want to add in this? Movement speed? Disengage, I can't do that. Um, I guess I'll do shield. Another shield or a health thing. Okay, this will be interesting. I got like a very defensive build. This is weird. This is a weird chat. Oh man, I need an extra level. There's a couple more. We got my roll the bones. I need it. I'm gonna wait until we do this big guy. And then I'll use my orb. Oh, yeah, there we go. 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 Bunch of crit damage. That was cool. I think I did a lot there. Yeah, I did a lot of damage. Man, I have like no resources for damage, dude. I'm just auto attacking. Oh, that's pretty bad, dude. That's pretty bad. I think once we'll started getting cooldown reduction and stuff, that's gonna be a little bit better. Didn't get the book? Oh yeah, I forgot the books. Uh, same. I need books. Is there a book here? Oh no, there's like a book here, isn't there? Uh, where is the book? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's like over here. Next to a guy. I'll sap him for you. Or if I grab the book, you guys do as well. It's shared? Oh, it is shared. That's weird. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta move over. I, I'm gonna have to make macros for like all these door abilities and stuff, man. Just to get around quicker. That's so weird. Yeah, we gotta get in there, man. Get in the room. Get in the room. Oh, he's already pulling. Oh, you're gonna get locked out. That's your quick. How much uh, damage is my arcane thing doing? Yeah, I don't do nearly as much damage as evokers, man. I need to scale up somehow. Okay, let's turn in the quest real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, roll the bones. There we go. Oh, now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Now we're cooking. I got a better weapon. Holy, hold on a second. Oh, that is better. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Versatility chest. I actually think of- Oh, double socket! Double socket! Oh, no shot! No way! Okay. Alright. Two gem sockets in there. Okay. This is interesting. Alright. Uh, are we doing more? Is this group doing more or are we just all scrapping our stuff? Because I kind of want to scrap all this other gear. And I'll scrap it real quick for bronze. <laughs> <laughs> Holy double socketed man heroic sure We'll go crit and there's one for versatility, right? Yeah, plus one versatility. We'll work with that Dude, okay, they're all left. All right. Bye <laughs> Okay, <laughs> whatever man All right, so That's a lot 
Um, what else can I do? So ability wise, I don't even know what's good, man. Ability wise. Arcanus Edge is not as good as I thought it would be, so I don't really know. How about this other one? Is the 2% of maximum health as whole as fire? How, well, how is that working out? Fervor? Oh, Fervor is so much better. Hold on, we're gonna have to switch this out, boys. We're gonna go back to Fervor. Ability is fine. Coral is okay, but I don't really need it. We're gonna switch that over. Okay. So, out of all these abilities, I think Fervor was really good. Well, you're above 80% health. Tax consume 2% of maximum health. So, that's going to be our primary ability to do damage. 10% of all damage taken grants you healing blood up to 200. So, we're not really taking a lot of damage. So, I think we'll be fine. I think picking up, like, a shield is not a bad idea. Just so, like, we don't have to expand our health. Because this is going to consume a portion of our health. To if, like, holy damage is equal to an enemy. Or I could pick up Leech instead, actually. Just so I can, like, always maintain my health. That's the way to do it. Movement speed, and you have immunity to falling damage. Your abilities have a chance to increase your party's haste. Is fine. Uh, yeah, I think probably the haste one's better here. And I get another tinker slot. I could do healing. No shielding. Probably a shield. That'll work. Level 20 crafting PvP is those open up a quest. Wait, what? Uh, at level 20, Crossroom PvP Zone opens up a quest. Does it actually? Okay, cool. Oh, okay, hold on. I want to see if I can turn in the quest for looking for dungeon, since we just got it done. Also, do you want to queue for another thing? Another dungeon, maybe? Because I think the amount of XP you get from dungeons is really, really good. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Oh, this is insta quick. Oh, the helm is that better? Leech, man, eh, that is good. Oh wait, hold on, I really want to mug myself, please. Let me change my mug. Do it like this. And then I need the not this one. This one? That's about right. That'll work. Requeue? That's not good. You don't have to queue as a healer, by the way. If you want, you can just queue as a DPS. I'm fine doing like a little bit of questing on the side. Wait, there's a different guy here. The Pandar the Pandaren with like the set is different every time. I guess to show off all the pieces. That's funny. <laughs> Hold on, I need to find a um like a mailbox or something. Put a bunch of garbage on me. Okay, they do have a mailbox. Uh one above. Do, 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 okay, I already did that quest. Could I be destroyed? Okay, cool. So I guess I just keep it in my bags forever. Do, 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 Okay, let's continue the quest and stuff. Chat, what are your thoughts on this mode, by the way? Also, I should probably put these in here. Because you can feed your pet snacks and he gains all of his uh, stamina or whatever. Privet, is that like Pandaria but on different client? No, it's uh it's like a specific mode. It's not a Pandaria, like it's not it doesn't play like Pandaria. It plays like Dragonfly classes in terms of design and stuff, but it is Pandaria like the content of Pandaria. Although the combat is a little slower, right? Things are not melting instantly, like how you would go questing through Pandaria time walking. Things are dying at like a fairly decent rate, I'd say. Yeah, so it's not like a client for Pandaria Classic or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think that's what they're trying to make with it. They were just trying to give it like a, a way to experience all the Pandaria stuff in like a more authentic way. But yeah, this is definitely not like a... <laughs> not a Pandaria... Classic kind of boat or whatever. 
<laughs> and out of it. Campaign? Oh yeah, I gotta do the campaign quest. I think it's interesting though, uh, to see you the chance for a classic and retail players to come together and play. Yeah! Yeah, definitely. Like the class design is and the class like setup is gonna be more for like what retail classes play like with a talent system. I actually do think that a lot of people do uh, assume that that's exactly what this is. It's like a way to bridge the divide between the classic players and the uh, retail players even a little bit. Okay, some of these guys are running around blasting things though. Like really, really quickly. What is this damage? Or is that you hitting the stuff? Because if that's you hitting stuff, then that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Let's see what Blizzard using all the stuff on your way. Basically, yes, basically. And it lets you get like cosmetics and stuff. It lets you do those dungeons and scenarios like they were. And like it has that same like feel of uh, Pandaria in terms of like the the rate at which you do the content, right? Because usually right now in retail, right? You load your character up full of heirlooms gear, right? And you're walking in, you're one-shotting everything. Like, there's no, uh, like, resistance in the content at all. You're just walking in, blasting everything to smithereens. Nothing stands to even feel like a challenge or even remotely a challenge. And this actually changes things so it's a bit more, like, interactive. You are not walking in just one-shotting. You actually have to do the mechanics. You actually have to, having to play the content and everything. So it does feel a little different. Pants? Oh, double socket pants. Oh, give me that. Give me that. I need a double socket. Double cheeked up on an afternoon. Let's go. That's me, man. Put another crit gem in that thing. Put another versa gem in there. Beautiful. We gotta kill Conk. We gotta get the Conk. Scenario for the quest? Yeah, let's do it. I'll do this guy first. And then I'll do the scenario for the quest. Is it world PvP? I think you can enable war mode though. Yeah, I think there's, I, there might be world PvP objectives for all I know. Nothing showed up so far, but I imagine there will be. Hey yo, what's up Jay? How you doing my man? Yo yo, what's up Iron Hide? How you my guy? Hope you're having a good one. Uh, I don't like that you can carry the characters in your expect. Yes, you will be able to level them through this new experience to level 70. And if you want to keep playing this character after the event is gone, after it's over, you can keep playing that same character into War Within. Yeah. So they really are trying to, as I said, bridge the divide. Is this guy spawning? Does Kong take forever to spawn? Oh, there he is. I think the Beastmaster Hunter earlier just got him. Gathered him. This man's grooking out here. Look at him. Look at him go. He's grooking. Oh, dude, Fervor does damage. Holy damage. Fervor does a lot of damage. <laughs> Fervor does a lot of damage. That's like the only way I can do damage right now. Is let Fervor do stuff. While I heal. That might be the play. Can I triple stack Fervor? Is that a thing? Can I just triple up on Fervor so like a ton of my health is getting consumed and I'm just doing holy damage? Because that'd be kind of sick. Okay, let me queue us up for scenario. Are we in dungeon queue? Let's queue for a normal scenario. A random scenario. I imagine those are going to be like insta queues. Who came in a duker? Dude, yeah, who came in a duker? Who can write in the duker? Oh man, I miss those Pandaria things, dude. I missed him. Oh, that's so good. Are you dead? Get out of here. And then we got to run around cream pandas. Wish I could cleave that more. Oh yeah, I am actually consuming my health to do damage. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Look at Fervor, it actually does damage. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to all of them and free them. Pandaren children. See so if you see Pandaren children, let him go. Let him free, let him fly. Uh oh, we already killed these guys? Okay. A lot of buffs. Ooh, Fever does a lot of damage. Look at that's literally my most damage and ability right now. It's wild. Okay, it looks like somebody's walking around grabbing children first before we are. Uh okay, Pandaria scenario. Let's do this. My top three, super excited for the stuff, honestly. Yeah, Pandaria's expansion was awesome. Like it was definitely felt like a joke expansion at first. 
but it turned out to be real and it was actually really enjoyable. Okay, we just gotta rescue villagers. If you do this like an actual pro, you wanna spread up, spread out and uh, rescue them all on your own. Uh, I'm gonna have to do my void thing. Yeah, I need to make sure I actually have heals. So maybe going for like a self healy build in scenario might not be the worst. Because I can't do damage. <laughs> I need to consume a portion of my health to do damage. Hmm. Oh, you're pulling everything, huh? Well, stunning things, I guess, helps, doesn't it? Because at least it's not killing me. We gotta go over here to the dojo. Oh, once you get Roll the Bones, man, it actually starts to feel a lot better. Oh, yeah. Look at this fervor damage. <laughs> it's so good. Remember going through the rare pet salvage? The White Tiger as soon as I could. My favorite besides Quillines. Yeah. Yeah, those were real cool. Yeah, I think this will be an opportunity to get all those, like, collectibles again. It's gonna be fun, man. Is that elementals we gotta get? No, we gotta get barrels. I'm gonna avoid this guy for now. Wait, what? Uh... We gotta bring him somewhere? Uh-oh. Oh, the barrel's gonna die. Uh, help! Oh, the barrel's so dead. Yeah. <laughs> what do we take the barrels to? I didn't even look. I probably should have looked. It's a wild sentence. Yeah, it is. It is. Without a context, it is. Is this here we gotta go? Okay, it looks like there's a barrel here. What do we do with them, though? Where do we take them? Or do we bring them back to the dojo? Uh. Oh, there? Hold on, where are you? Is it here? What do we take these barrels to? Or do we just gotta bring him back to the village? Oh, there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I feel like we should probably have like a guy maybe calling out like, bring the barrel here or something. Because that's kind of confusing. Not gonna lie. Wait, can you fly here? No, I thought you could. Yeah, I think maybe like a self healer build in scenarios might be the play. Like a shielded build or like a, a health recovery build. Just so I can like always have a... Always have... I got a thread just now. Always have that leech damage buff or whatever, the fervor. So maybe I can swap out one of these. Wait, can I switch them up now? Yeah, I can. Hold on. Scroll of summoning? Oh yeah, the portal skulls. Oh, that's wild. Where's the leech one? Here we go, coral. So, portion of the damage that I take is gonna heal me, so... That might be nice for, like, survivability and damage. Vindicator on everybody? What? Three times Vindicator on everyone, so 10% damage heals every one second? Wait, what? Cause an explosion, nature damage around the drinker. Okay, so that's gonna be how we're gonna clear stuff out. Oh, Vindication, an item? Equip 10% of the damage collectors of Vindication every three seconds we get to consume heal up. Oh! Oh, that's kind of cool. That's neat. Okay, so we help him here. Get the brew. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit evasion. Can we group everything up? Take a blast it? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Does quite a bit of damage, actually. I like that. 
Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Because of B-Res, dude, I miss when Cooley inside of B-Res. Yeah, that was really cool. It was like a really big reason to go and uh, get that uh, pet whenever possible. I'll never get the boss. I kind of like the bite-sized nature of uh, scenarios, by the way. I kind of miss this. Not gonna lie. Can we do this? Is that Healy or is that Poison Flowers? Look like Healy Flowers. Yeah, it looks like having a shield allows it to consume the shield instead of my health. Possibly. What? Easy. Oh, you guys got one too? Wait, you just got one for level 20? Is that what it is? Yo, you just get this thing for level 20? Oh, no shot, man. Look at that thing. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Is it dragon riding mount though? It isn't. Yo, you get this. Well, hit level 20. You probably get the golden one for hitting like max level then, huh? I thought this would be like a rare thing. That's so cool. Little bracer. It has mastery. I think mastery is better, actually. I'll pick up Empiric. Okay, I'm gonna grab, put him Empiric in there. Mastery is at least a stat. Yo, this is cool. Gorgeous mount. It is, man. It is. It is. Oh, I wish I had dragon riding. That would have been so neat. I mean, it's still great. Don't get me wrong. Who's fighting me? Okay, why are my health bars not showing up anymore? My health bars just not showing up anymore. Let me kill this guy real quickly. Fervor, please. Fervor, please. Fervor is like the only ability right now for me that does any kind of damage. As long as I'm above a certain health threshold. Uh, name. I was showing NPC nameplates. Okay, it's all kinds of bugged. Uh, I'm gonna do a slash reload. It's just not showing up at all. Okay, it fixed itself. Was there another scenario? I like these. Well, it's a dungeon, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need gyrocopters. Did we get all the Pandaren freed? No, we still got a free of pandas. Are these guys count as pandas? Laborer, right? Is that how I kill? I guess free now. Okay, you gotta talk to them. Okay, we need one more. Are you? Okay, that's some free Pandaren. Oh, home, I'll carry back. There we go. Get out of here, friendo. Uh oh. I'm running. I'm running. I am porting out of here. I'm teleporting out of here. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but you got another gem? Hold on, that's a versatility one. What's my versatility gem? Here. Or is that armor? That's armor. Never mind. I just killed him? Oh my god. We need to kill that man again. That's okay. Another scenario. Let's do it. Almost all flying mounts should get dragon riding. Yes, almost all should. Almost all. There's like a, a triple digits of them that should get dragon riding. More or less. Okay, what buffs do we not have? We should probably buffed up at the beginning, huh? Mystic power, what is that? Intellect? No, physical damage. I'll do it. I'll take physical damage. I kind of want to go to the other meta gem. I want to go back to the lightning orb. I thought it was really cool. Never mind. We can switch it now. I'll draw aggro. Somebody's going to have to click the barrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And somebody's aggroed us already? Again? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Can I switch out my gem now? Let's do the Lightning Orb again. I like Lightning Orb. It seemed like it was really, really good. Very, very strong. Yeah, and what's cool about the Phoenix, like, you don't really need to do much to get it. You just gotta play and hit level 20 and there you go, and you're good. 
I think that's gonna be really nice, especially for like more casual players. Where you don't have to do like a whoa! That's a heal. That's what that is. <laughs> that's what you're creating. Okay, so those flowers are good flowers. Okay. I thought those were boss flowers for some reason. From that uh last encounter. Do, 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 do. And this guy got a bunch of gear too. Hell yeah, man. I got it, I got it, I got it. Got this one on the right. I got it, I got it, I got it. Are you Ellie? He is Ellie. He got a meteor storm? Okay, man. He's also got, he's also got a life storm? Dude, this guy got good, good, good buffs. I got nothing good. I feel like my powers so far, the, the abilities I've gotten, the gems I've gotten, I've been cheeks. I'm not even lying to you. I got Grouting Totem though, that's cool. But like, otherwise, it's just not amazing. But then I got a bunch of Haze gems. Maybe I should swap some stuff out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take away Bursa. Uh, and I'm gonna take away... I guess from here. Wait, I'm in combat. Um... Wait. Oh, you take them one at a time. Okay, let's do this. We'll do haste. Just because that's a lot more haste. And I think haste is going to be good. I'll save my lightning orb for like when we're doing big phase or whatever. Maybe I can use it on this guy instead. Ow. Yeah, I actually might have to heal myself <laughs> if I want to do any kind of damage because Fever is the only thing that does anything. <laughs> uh, man. I hate how she resets. I kind of want to just keep going. She has like a very old school MMP design where like she'll reset back. Yeah, she's just gonna keep resetting. <laughs> Those are kill stuff very, very quickly. Maybe I should pick up um, shield abilities because it feels like leech kind of works, but like it's not consistent. But I feel like shields at the very least get consumed by that. Uh, like, yeah, here we go. Like it just absorbs the damage I'm taking to doing to myself. I'm thinking maybe I'll just double up on shields because this thing doesn't really do much. So I'll pick up the fire shield. Uh, or the ice shield? We have both of them. I have Fever here, Thunder and Orb. That shield, Vampiric Aura. Didn't I have another ability chat for like another shield? Like a fire one? Or did I get rid of that somehow? Oh, it's probably in one of my other items of gear, isn't it? Oh, I might have actually had it slotted into one of my other items. And, uh, oops, I think I uh, sold it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's on Forge. Okay, we're going to put this back in. But I'll do, I think after this, I'll try to see if I can find more abilities. Right? And then I'll try to see if I can play around with a lot more buttons. Can I stun this guy? Yes, you can. They're fully stunnable. Let me do shield, lightning. Oh, this is a lot of damage to everybody. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize it was gonna hit everything, everything. Okay, cool. Blink? I'm picking a blink. I'm picking a blink. Oh yeah, I'm grabbing blink. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, I just got blink chat. Blink. 
That's so good! I just got blink! And I got double socket avoidance? Uh, that's not that good, is it? Versatility gems are really, really good though. Hold on. Oh, okay. So I have those. I can't do anything with them yet. All right. Let me go and see if I can buy up a bunch more abilities also. Like we got more quests to complete here, but I kind of want to... How often are you critting? Um, I'm not doing more crits than hits, but it's a lot more than average. Not, not as much as I thought I would. Oh, the crit is huge for me. Generally a really good stat, especially since I can control how much crit I have with between the eyes. That helps a bunch. Dark pack. <laughs> it's pretty walkers, guys. Hold on. I just picked up two abilities from mobs. Calls upon a spirit or perform a moment while casting spells. I could pick up dark pack, man. Just have a defensive. That could probably be really good with my shield ability. Right? Oh, wait. That actually is so much better. I just got dark packed. <laughs> Wait, we could do this guy. Hold on. I can fight him. And shield myself. Look at that dark pack! Oh, it puts me below a certain health health threshold though. Which kinda blows. Oh, it doesn't last long at all though. Yeah, I might want to go back to blink actually. Dark pack is good, but it puts me at low health. So I can't benefit from my shield stuff. A dagger? It is a dagger. Oh, it is so much stronger. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna pick up Blink. Uh, do you want Spirit Walker's Grace, by the way? I can give it Spirit Walker's Grace that lets you move while casting. Or do you want Dark Pact? I can give it to you. I can trade him. Oh, I can trade this with you. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> you can just get that if you want it. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Did we get all these quests done? Yeah, there's a lot to turn in. I'm gonna fly by and turn in that quest real quick and pick up more abilities. I wanna mess around with them, man. I wanna mess around with some. I wanna see what other powers you can get. I'm gonna spend all my bronze. Dude, this is cool. I'm loving this. This is awesome. This whole mode in general. Speed gem. Speed's good. That's just gonna be some kind of speed ability too. We go over here, get this done. She'll get us a bunch more gems or bronze. Mark of Arrogance. Attack or suffer Mark of Arrogance. Shatter damage over nine seconds. Stack it up for five times. Okay, now we actually got powers. I actually got abilities. Actual abilities, finally. That's damage ability. Oh, thank God. Okay, which one of them sells me abilities? This guy's a toy seller. He's the one with mogs. Is this guy the one with the. No. Her. There we go. Her belt doesn't seem to match the rest of the mog. So these are prismatic gems. Prismatic gems are... I need tinker gems. These are the ones that have abilities, right? Yes. Okay, they gotta fix that. Wait, no. Static charge. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna buy a bunch. Slay. What the hell? It's just called Slay. <laughs> <laughs> Onk? I just got Onk? What? Holy Martyr! Huh? Is that the Holy Martyr I'm thinking of? Wildfire! Okay, let's see what all these things do, man. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Okay, so store static charge every 10 seconds. Movement releases static charge healing. Uh, healing allies damage and miss three in total. Uh, prefer, prefer an injured enemy suffering damage equal to a static charge to heal. Okay. Slay. When you attack an enemy beneath 10% health, you attempt to slay them, inflicting shadow damage equal to 100% maximum health. Bro, big execute. Suffering lethal damage will return to life. Group 5% damage suffered is collect as holy martyrdom every 3 seconds. Holy martyrdom consumed to heal 4 injured allies. Not consumed. So damage suffered, so it's a tank thing. The abilities have a chance to deal additional fire damage to spread wildfire to nearby enemies. Okay, I need to mess around with some of these. Let's give it some actual damage and abilities here. Fervor is good, but I don't know if I can really use Fervor as easily. So this is for standing still, right? Every 10 seconds. Moon releases it. Okay, I don't know if that's that good then. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do Wildfire here. That seems really good. In my Bracer, we'll do... I guess we'll try the Slay ability. We have the Imp Mark of Arrogance here. And here, I guess I could do Onk. 
Or static charge. Gonna store those. We could try this. I feel like I move around a lot though. No question. Okay. I was about to say, can I plug in non gear into this? But no. Okay. Can I get any more uh, powers now? I can almost afford one more. Okay. We'll just keep going. How are we doing, Dally? Doing pretty good, Lord. Testing out the new stuff. Testing out the new things. These are pretty cool. I do want to get some combat done right now. How do you play in the test realm? Go to PTR. Or uh, you got to download PTR. But I guess if you don't have PTR, I think you got to add it to your account first. Um, we have a video on how to like in the link in the journal of our Discord somewhere in pins. Um, how to get PTR on your account. So you can follow that if you want to. It's a process. Wait, why am I moving? I can just blink now. <laughs> I can just blink around. <laughs> oh man. Oh big leech helm. What the hell? Okay. Oh Jesus, a lot of leech. I think it's probably worth, right? Yeah, that leech is worth. Jesus. That's a lot of survivability. Let's get this out of here. Pop this in here. Beautiful. I need to get the yak mount so I can mog my stuff. Yak 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 yak. Okay, and let's do... What mog do I want to use, man? I wish I could copy all my main rogues mogs on here as well. That'd be cool. Uh, we'll do this, and this will be like... Uh, time walking mog. Here we go. Oh, so now we can always like pull this up again. Remember, even this is just test for progress chance for the weekend. This progress is not going to be tested to live realms now. This any progress in PTR does not get brought over to live realms. No, this is just a test. None of this gets taken over. Oh, you already ahead of me. Oh. Okay. Oh, Slade does a lot of damage. Holy! I just executed that guy. Oh, wait. I think I picked up one of the best abilities ever then. Okay, cool. Wow. Chip Masterful. I should be able to combine a bunch now, right? Yeah, I have a bunch of Masterfuls. Health regen. Oh, health regen is probably going to be huge, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Should we do another dungeon? I kind of want to do a dungeon. I feel like dungeons are even quicker for levels. Join as a party. I'm going to do one more and I'll probably call it here. Health plus, plus five. Back to classic. Truly, truly. Wait, there's a treasure here nearby, isn't there? Hold on. It's either above me or below me. It is over here. There's a treasure you can get here. There it is. Oh, that gives XP. That's so good. Bandari treasures gave a lot of XP back in the day, man. That's awesome. Oh, dude. Yeah, watch out for the Drake treats. They're so good. As, as far as abilities are concerned, they're awesome. I kill these guys for their supplies. Or supplies they stole, rather. I was gonna play this weekend, but it doesn't transfer over. It's there to test it. Like, you can still play it to test stuff out and give them feedback or, like, hey, this worked or this doesn't work. But yeah, none of this t uh, transfers over. That's a pretty normal thing for PTR, by the way, for things not to transfer over like that. It's actually pretty common. Because it's there for, as a public test realm, but it's just there for testing. It's not like early access or anything, because it's still in development, they still don't have it finalized and finished. It feels pretty finished, it feels pretty playable, but yeah, not yet. 
Oh, now I'm doing a lot of damage with the Slay ability, bro. What is this? Hold on. Yo, Slay is awesome. I think I grabbed, got one of the best powers ever. Like, if things get low, at least for questing, this is going to be insane. Attempt to finish off an enemy below 10% health. Just doing a ton of damage. My health was the damage to them. <laughs> Wildfire also does a lot of damage, by the way. Now I'm finally good abilities, man. We're actually doing work now. Cold Front? What is that? Is that from you? I see I gotta get so many of these guys killed. It's crazy. Supplies. Hold on. Let me see if I can grab more water sprites. Sprite Cranberry. Bro, I'm gonna be doing duels. Do a little mass astro. Go for it. Yeah, I was planning on still doing duels today. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we need chlorophyll. Hold on. Oh, did we not share these? Oh, that's ass. Dude, Discipline, Discipline Daria quest design. Or other Cataclysm quest design, man. Or Wrath. Older expansions. Class design or quest design. We don't share these things, so that kind of blows. I don't even, I'm pretty sure we share those guys though, but these things we don't. How do cheeks when you think about it? Do 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 do. Is it kind of wall in a wall? It is in a wall. Yeah, Wrath of the Lich King, classic wild class design. Look at that. Holy, you can't even loot him. He's just gone in there. He's just stuck. He's just gone. <laughs> He's actually just gone. <laughs> okay, hold on. Haste? Haste is good. Okay, gems wise, what are we looking like? Now we got a leech gem, big leech gem. Yo, big leech gem and just going for like the south hill build might be the play too. This is really cool, man. That's really, really cool. Do you think it means I'm gonna be classic? I think they'll still go to the Miss Pandaria classic. But this is a new way to experience Mr. Pandaria that does give you a refresher on MOP. It's not quite Mr. Pandaria, right? You don't have to do that grueling grind of just, um, what's it? The grueling grind of rep farming for eons and eons and eons. So it's not quite Mr. Pandaria. <laughs> Should I, dude? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we gotta throw a bunch of shuriken at them. Get a bunch of these hosen out of here. I wonder if you killing them also counts for me as well. That'd be nice. I feel like we need something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, does this scratch that misopendary itch? To some degree. Does it quite hit the mark? Not really. I feel like there's still a reason to do misopendary classic. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Symbiosis is not in the so yeah, there's a reason to do Mr. Panera Classic. Just for symbiosis. Just for like old school abilities. Yeah, no, there's still a reason. What I need? It's not, it's not letting me kill anymore. Wait, yes it is. Oh please. Oh, they're so quick. It's some of them are killable, but not all. What is happening? Okay, now I got him. Wow, that took a while. Oh, Grand's party members, 40 yards, tireless spirit, reducing the resource cost of abilities. What? Oh, that is so cool. Wait, I got a really cool power. Jake, hold on a second, bro. 0.5 damage per second. Why is this quicker? Why does this mace say it's more damage? That's weird. Hold on. It's apparently better. I'll take it for now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you want this? <laughs> Wait, I can't even trade that. That's so cool, though. Hell yeah. Oh, I can combine these now. I got versatility gem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me do this. Pop this out of here. Uh, I guess I pop both of these out of here and I'll plug in both Versa and Crit. There we go. Neat. What do we go next? Okay, we go next. Are we queued? We are queued. Get this Ookin Dukers out of here. I just take a three shot of damage over time. 
Oh, I just gotta get him low enough. Wait, I gotta stand still too. Oh yeah, standing still while in combat. That's gonna suck. I'm not a big fan of this ability, Static Charge. I don't want to get something else besides it. Uh, cool. I think what I want to do is uh, actually take the Static Charge and I'll put Fervor back in. I don't have a combo with Fervor, but it's still more damage in general. Yeah, I got it with the shrines. Guess you could turn up Frosty DK and lose a quick few. I mean, if you wanna. Yeah, I still plan on uh, hosting them. Victory fire? What does that do? Slain enemy causes you to erupt and fire. Oh, that's cool. Does that mean you have to get the, like the kill killing blow, or just like if anybody dies around you, you still get the cred? Oh yeah, you gotta do his quest where you drink tea and just sit there. I make it open them. I can't even open my bags. Oh man, I can't open my boxes. Yeah, it's hard to tell though, Jumpy. We'll see. I think it will give us a better idea later down the line. Probably after Kata. Yeah, for this you just have to sit there and drink tea with uh, Chen and it gives you a bit of lore. Not Chen, um... Cho. Chen Storm's out is the guy with the, um, the keg. This guy's the lore walker. Yeah, man, if you want to just give it a, a little bit of time and just not, not play PTR, just to, like, see the full release, you can. But, like, if you just want to peep in... See what's it like, try some of these abilities, right? Get a feel for it. Look at the vendors, see what's on there. Plan out what you're gonna buy. Do a scenario to just to get a feel for it. Nothing wrong with it. But yeah, a lot of PTR testing is just walk, go there, test stuff, give them feedback, and you're chilling. That's really about all you do. Okay, test, look at my cloak. We got 5% experience gain, a little bit more stats than usual. Cool. Versatility, speed. We got a dungeon. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I gotta wait for him now. Ooh, Scarlet Halls, right? I think. Monastery. Nice. Hell yeah. We got tricks this time. I got abilities? Uh... Good damage. Here I go. Oh yeah, here you'll want to go and uh... What is it? Kill these piles of corpses? Because they'll just keep spawning forever and ever and ever. This will be interesting. I kind of want to do a big pull and like try to see if I can just blast them. I also really need cooldown reduction so I can start cleaving more often. Oh you can also kill the tank. Get it to explode. Next group, I'll blast them with a zappy. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. Gives you race history? Yes, it does. Yeah, I don't think for evokers is gonna give anything specific. I'd be very, very surprised if it gives them anything. I think they maybe done a couple of them for allied races, but I could be wrong. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, we're doing a lot more damage now. We got the big execute ability, if anything, but definitely doing a lot more damage in general. Let's use the button. 
on Crusaders. Yeah, he's spawning more dudes. Can only do so much to them. You hit him with that execute. I'm doing a little bit of damage. Probably not as much as everybody else, but it's something. Pursuit of Justice? Is that what he's got ability as an ability? Holy. Okay. That's awesome. Dark Pack? Yo, that's a good one. The fact that we can just get Dark Pack, man. This is going to be so wild doing raids with this, man. With these abilities and stuff. Oh, that's going to be so cool. That's going to be awesome. Oh, I might need to heal. There we go. We got the monk. Monk is done work. Oh, I do have cooldown reduction already. I thought I didn't. Okay, this is gonna start to feel a little bit better now. Hell yeah. Is that a level? No way. Yeah, there's a lot of line inside you have to do here if you really wanna. Yeah, there we go. There we go. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, you have to do the line of sight in this place if you wanna be able to hit everybody. I got my die though. Wait, is it made an angel or is that them? Is that the Scarlets that do that? I think that's actually the Scarlets that turn into angels, don't, isn't it? Uh, kick him. Oh, that's the guy that's taking my. What is it? Shadow of Aragon's damage buff. Okay, well, I can't really stop him. I can stun him in a bit. That's about all I can do. Reason. Good attempt. He's already in combat. He's already dotted. I can't do anything. I can sip a cup for myself. <laughs> maybe I can drag him over. Drag him into the group, maybe. Shield him. Hank. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Things that live in forever. It looks like whoever I attack with the arrogance, I gotta just keep attacking that same person. Because that's like the only way I put up a dot on them. Otherwise it like falls off. By the looks of things. Yeah, that's a lot of thread. Okay, neat. Oh yeah, sword in the middle, we need that. Yeah, now we go kill the boss. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to stab her. Ready? Where's he going? Are you also going to get the sword, I think? So who's the guy that has a dot now? This guy? Okay, so it looks like whoever gets a dot, the marker of arrogance, I gotta just attack them immediately. And then stack it up. Mark of arrogance feels like it doesn't really do a lot of damage unless I stack it up. So that one doesn't seem like a good ability. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Maybe if I stack it up in the opener. It's kind of sorted on stuff. The fire, I didn't even see the fire either. Maybe it's kind of random. I should probably be using my orb a lot more. I feel like I just kind of want to hold it until a good moment, but I never find a good moment ever. That's a good moment to get the hell out of dodge. What is this? So, for a 7% of healing collected is deliverance, any ally below 50% health. Oh, okay, okay. That's what you had to, Jake, yeah? Mastery is huge, actually. I don't know. Maybe I should grab that.
Hmm. Maybe I should grab that mastery buff. It's not an amazing stat, but like it's better than nothing. Because Leech is huge, but... I think I'll keep Leech, actually. Vanish? Okay, we got some abilities. Actually getting some useful abilities now. Now we're cooking. Now we're starting to ramp up here. That was good stamina. Actually, let me use the orb. Oh, look at the damage. Now we're, now we're rolling. Now we're doing things. Now we're doing things. Are we gonna have to clear the entire thing here? Probably, right? Because I remember in the vanilla uh, version of this place, Scarlet Monastery, you had to clear the entire thing, otherwise the uh, all the ads would just rush you. We have a bonus guy here too. Is that a thing? Oh, it is a thing. Uh, There's a guy, but it's for a quest. Yeah. <laughs> Actually dead this time around. <laughs> Quickly, the other side if we wanted to. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they're gonna spawn, man. Are they gonna rush us? I think they'll rush us after she comes out. Or maybe he reses. Maybe not. Yep, my execute. I mean... She's evading? Uh, yeah, you gotta get off of there. She's just evading. Or she's good now? Yeah, someone's bugging out. I'm gonna target her. If it lets me. Oh, it's not letting me. I gotta kill them both? There we go, hold on. I main is here, and you gotta hit her with a... Okay, you got it, looks like. I think we got the credit for that. GG, wait, what? Dagger? Massive. Nice. And I need to switch out my helm. Thundering for this other helm. Just thundering. There we go. You got the Chiji Red Crane? What? Hold on. A meta gem? Hold on. Really? How'd you get Chiji? What the hell? I kind of want to try to get a Chiji or something. I want a better meta gem. That's so cool. Hold on. So you can transform to Chiji with that? No shot. Two minutes till I can use it? Okay, okay, okay. That's awesome though. Hell yeah. Hold on. I want to see if I can get more gems, man. I want to see if I can get more abilities. Yeah, okay, we got enough of the uh, bronze, so I might be able to go and do that real quick. I want to pick up a few more. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to turn to this quest and I'll go grab my gems and I think I'll probably have to call it here, boys. Because I got 5-5-1-1 dual stream to get to in the bed here. Ooh. Oh god, he just died so quick. Obliterated. Nutty. Hold on, when you have TG, could you pop into TG? Let me know when you have it. I kind of want to get like a footage of it. I don't even know what it looks like. Wait, we should probably go find some stuff to kill. If we're gonna do the TG thing. Come over here. 
Let's go next to the uh, bazaar. Oh, we'll just find some stuff near the bazaar. Because I know Chi gives you abilities. I just want to see what they will look like. There's got to be something to kill here, right? Or maybe a train dummy? There's a go. Train and dummies. Perfect. Look at them. Yeah, yeah, we can still see like all the damage on them. There we go. Let me know when you're ready. Using a five? Go for it. I look at you. Huh? Oh, you got fire? You could charge? Oh, that's cool. I think it should give me a healing buff too, right? I thought Chiji gives you a healing buff. Never mind then. <laughs> and you have that up for like, what, 30 seconds? It looks like 20 seconds. We do a lot of damage with it. Blazing Nova, Hope's Flame, Melees. That's kind of cool. It does heal, but I think it's not showing. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, it is Blazing Nova healing. It's showing up a little. Yeah, I just probably, you probably need to be taking like a lot of damage from it. All right, what, are, what other builders do I want to grab here, boys? What else do you want to grab up? Avoidance? Yeah, it's kind of whatever. No, this one. All right, then I just want to grab some basic stuff. I kind of want to try meta abilities. We'll grab one meta and a couple of basic ones. Oh, what the hell? Soul Tether? Tether yourself to a soul of an ally directly 20% of their damage taken as shadow damage. This effect can be used on up to five allies. Oh, that's going to be really cool. So you can take away 20% of their damage, as you, damage to you. Abilities have a chance to grant all allies a shield. Okay, hold on. Uh, I could do either one, two, or just a bunch of these. I could do a bunch of these. I have a chance to apply a lightning rod to your target. And critical cycle for 10 seconds, enemies suffer nature damage. Lightning rod ends, returns. Okay, neato. Grab this one. Every three seconds, build up a stack of hailstorm upon which 10 stacks. Hailstorm all enemies within 50 yards. Okay, cool. That's a good ability. That seems good. Okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> now I gotta scrap a bunch of my stuff if I wanna get more. Yeah, and I actually have a lot of stuff to scrap. Hold on, maybe we can get like one more. One more. No, almost, 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 almost. You get prismatic gems though. Those are pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, this guy, look at that. Every time you come back, the panda is a different mog. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, so you can kind of see what it all looks like. All right, hold on. There's got to be an in here, yeah, because I got to hop off. Man, Chad, this is cool. There's so many abilities to take a look at. Yeah, that's a lot. This is a little roaming, not going to lie. Okay, I got to hop off for a bit. I will be back in about an hour and we'll be doing five five one one duels boys, okay? Alrighty. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are all enjoyed um the stream and everything we've seen here. I do want to more do more of this. I want to do this. I think maybe a bit more tomorrow. I'll be, definitely be playing this in my free time just to pick up as many abilities and level of character in my free time as much as I can. Um maybe we could do some endgame stuff tomorrow or something. But yeah, I got a, I got a fire file, one of my dose thing. I got to get to in a bit here and get some work done ahead of time. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys all in the next stream or in a bit here. Alrighty. Cobre, do I live with you? Do I live with you? Do I live with you? We'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit, boys. Alrighty. Peace.